just gonna jump online. So, a few of you guys might have noticed in that triple perfect video yesterday that I dropped back down to green ring. They did. They did. It's because I am really trying to work on my movement. I'm trying to force myself to get comfortable with Korean backdashing. And, uh, you know, I'm getting bodied for it a little bit, but, um, but it's gonna be worth it in the end. That's the idea, right? Welcome to the King of Iron Fist Tournament. Can't make an omelet without breaking a few eggs, you know what I mean? One of my favorite quotes from Grand Theft Auto, I think it was Grand Theft Auto 3, is that you can't, you can't make an egg without breaking a few omelets. <laughs> and the main character was just, The fuck? Okay. <laughs> that's how long Not sure works. that's how it goes. <laughs> What's up, guys? Alright, let's get this movement down. Alright. Hey, Ryan, shoot, thanks for showing up, dude. Damn it! You getting it? There we go. Yeah. We in there! Let's go! Yo, Extra Cheese! What up, man? He says, I just reviewed your review and now you're live! What a coinkadink. <laughs> yeah, we were a little late today. I was reading a uh, Peter Molyneux fucking article and I was dying laughing and then I was like, oh shit! Yeah. You know, we got that was too up. entertaining! There was an interview with Peter Molyneux in 2015 <laughs> on Rock Paper Shotgun that everyone should absolutely read. Yeah, if they have him. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, I have never read an interview where the opening question is, do you think you're a pathological liar? But, uh, yeah, I was just like, oh shit, this is lit. I gotta <laughs> oh, read this, bitch. <laughs> this is a legit interview. <laughs> Round one. <laughs> Ah, damn it! Nice counter hit. Oh, damn. Okay. So I can't even fit jabs? Can't even fit no jabs. Can't even fit right. no jabs. That's fine. Damn. Okay. He's not falling for anything. He's not falling for any of the shenanigans. Something else. Oh, what? Ooh, the parry! Oh, my God! <laughs> I'm getting turbo bodied, babe. What? What? What the fuck? No! <laughs> it's a warm up. That's the excuse. Oh my god. Come on. Oh, oh I sidestepped it. Ooh, Bullshit. Not close enough. Ah, I felt close enough. Oh I wonder if god. I can flash in no sword stance between that. Good we game. all know that triple perfect yeah. was rigged, my boy. You lose. I can't believe I God damn. Turbo bodied for free. It would be more believable that it was rigged if I had friends. I do not. <laughs> for real. Or if it was a bob. <laughs> Get ready for the next battle. battle. <laughs> it would make way more sense if he was up against a bob. Oh, man. Yo, Fred, I'm glad you enjoyed the Ruiner review, man. I got more game reviews coming at you guys. Uh, as we play new games at release, I will be reviewing uh, each and every one of them. So, yeah, dude. that should be cool. Um, oh, yeah, I know Fortnite Battle Royale is out and free to play, but this matters so much more to me. I'll get to it eventually. I'm not going to lie. I am interested in playing it. I'm not going to lie to you, John. I, I'm really interested in playing it because I like the concept of a Battle Royale game. I just don't think PUBG is a very good game. So I'd like to see what Epic Games does with Fortnite in that. Um, so I'm definitely going to be trying it. It's just, dude, I was up till 5 in the morning playing Tekken. I'm going to play fucking Tekken, bro. <laughs> well, that we wanted to get some Tekken for you guys because we're going to be getting into Gundam Versus on Friday. Oh, yes. And since we did a whole day of Ruiner yesterday, we figured we got to give you some, you know, some of the regular shit. Alright. Let's kick you in the fucking jaw, bitch. There we go. Oh, there we go. 
Whoa. Shit, not launch punishable. You know, I knew that. Oh! oh my god! Die! That combo for. <laughs> that was accidental. That was an accident. <laughs> that was definitely accidental, but it was still looked cool. Yep, it did. Woohoo! There we go. Show us you're not bad. Ooh, oh. knee to the back of the face. Ah! Oh! What the fuck? No okay. comeback! Sorry, that confused me. I didn't really know what the fuck to do. <laughs> when she switched sides like that, that was weird. Dom Ballinghard, I am going to ask you no- or I'm gonna ask him no worries. Uh, just give me a second. God damn it. I don't know- Fuck! Alright. Got it. Fight. Woo! Perfect, motherfucker! Alright, so Dom Ballinghard would like you to explain what makes up a good solid state drive. Okay, That's so... That's why I waited, homie, because you're gonna need a little bit of an answer. Dom, I ain't gonna lie to you, man. Uh, as far as solid state drives... Get ready um... Battle, 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 battle. Okay, so... Yeah, let me grab his exact question. It's been a very long time since I've done research on this, my man. And I didn't do a whole lot of research on it... in the first place? Um... He says he's going for a 256 gigabyte version and can't find decent info online. <sighs> Honestly, any solid state drive is gonna be fucking smoking fast, dude. Like, I just bought one that was on sale. If you want to know more about it, you, just, you gotta do your own research. I gotta be honest with you, man. That is not something I did a lot of research on. I found one at Micro Center that was on sale, and I bought two. <laughs> that was that was about it. I do know that <laughs> if you want the absolute bleeding edge performance which is probably going to be kind of expensive, so I wouldn't recommend it, and it probably won't make much of a difference for gaming. The ones that hook in through PCI Express are way faster than the ones that hook in through SATA. That's all I know, man. I'm sorry, I wish I had more information for you. And, uh, fucking raise it, man. Raisin, Thank you for man. the Thank donation. Thank you so much. He says, oh my god, just found the secret to doing KVD. Don't. It's all about that jump back. <laughs> <laughs> Don't. <laughs> That is a good secret. Ooh, good block. Yeah. Oh, 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 that was quite nice. Thank you. Yeah, sorry, it's really hot in here, guys. We're gonna be sweating Super the storm. Super hot, dude. Ooh. Ah, I can't even jab out of that. She's super plus on that. Okay. Oh shit! Ooh. Damn it! Very nice, very nice. Round <laughs> four. See me trying to KBD yeah. and fail? It's alright. You're trying. Yeah, gotta try. Good shit. Nice, perfect. Thank you, thank you. Final round. Fight. Good stuff. Good fight. GG's. Good stuff. GG's, GG's, GG's. I told you that first match was warm up. How swampy is your ass yeah. right now? Maximum swamp. <laughs> also, Flying Wallace fan, I'm glad you like those that new emo. It is all due to genocide. 
So I oh, can't yeah. take credit for that crispy emo. Yeah, that shit is crispy. Yo, Solus has it right uh, for you, dude. SATA SSD is the slowest, then PCIe SATA SSD, then M2 SSDs, and that's when we're talking real expensive. Honestly, I'd just pick up a SATA SSD, man. It, it, my computer boots in two seconds. I don't know how much faster that could be. So, <laughs> unless you're doing something really crazy that you need an M2 SSD for, I just, a SATA SSD is gonna be your cheapest option and it works very well. Like, I'm serious, I push the on button and my computer is on. Yes, like, and I don't have a solid state yeah. drive at all, and there is a giant There's a huge difference. difference. So yeah, I really want to, you don't really need to spend a whole lot of money on a solid state to get the speed you want, man. So, find one on sale, you know, this is about it. Oh, Hammersmith. I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. Hashtag Sailor Moon. Oh, <laughs> Hammersmith. I was. Well, I, I. I didn't forget. Um. I just didn't. I didn't see him in that stream. Oh, I would have played yeah. it for him if I had seen him pop up. I was waiting for him because we talked about it yeah. on that stream. I was gonna play it for you, man. <laughs> just I'd say my name and I shall appear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, Flying Walrusman was saying he liked the emotes too, and I told oh, yeah. him I couldn't take credit. <laughs> <laughs> you get two walrus flippers up. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Round one. Oh. Fight. Miguel. Miguel. Whoop. Ouch. That hurt. That hurt my feelings. Oh. This man. Right now. This man has no respect for my feelings. Oh, oh damn it. But. Thought my 3 4 plink would come out before that. <laughs> It did not. Oh, come on, dude! Why does this man have the longest fucking legs in the game? He is the tallest fucking here. Oh, yeah, I guess that's true. He's like eight fucking feet tall. Yeah, this man is a freaking tank. Look at him. Look at him. Thick oh, miss, fuck you. Booty. God damn it. That was smart hop kicking on Wake Up. He knew I, would want he knew I wanted that low. Woo! Bitch, sit down. Be humble. Uh, uh, uh. Mm -mm. Are you gonna get these oh little Oh my gosh, the dudes! Yay! Right in the eyeball. Fight. Oh, come on, dude. Damn it. I don't know why I'm fucking up the timing on that lately. Double dick punch. Double dick punch. Round four. DDP. Oh, Hammersmith wasn't there. He just watched it afterwards. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, man. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> if you had been in there, I was, I was, I was definitely gonna play that shit for you. Though. I ruined my perfect. Hold yeah, on, hold did. on, hold on, hold on. I can heal. Damn it! Damn it, Miguel! You didn't let me heal, dude. I needed that perfect. <laughs> damn it. Oh my god. Green rank for life. Yeah, you know it, dude. You know. It's all right. Echo Fox 69 caught a stream. It's a miracle. Yo, Echo Fox, welcome to the stream. Are you the real Sonic Fox? No. Probably. Probably. If he was, he'd just be like, "What is this scrub doing?" Well, if he is the real Sonic Fox, you a bitch, because you avoided me in that Four Honor tournament. Oh, I forgot about mm -hmm. that. That was so exciting. Mm -hmm. Also, I had Fo Sonic Fox as the first person in my bracket, and that motherfucker back. The out. fucked up part was he was in Discord, like, nah, I'm not gonna play. And it's like, but you're here. Yeah. <laughs> you're just not gonna play. <laughs> that motherfucker bitched out. He was like, oh shit, praise the sun? Uh uh. Nunny? Uh uh. <laughs> nah, come see me in Nether Realm games, bro. <laughs> totally. Sorry, I just. I was so disappointed. I, I was so stoked. But disappointed. I don't know. My headset's been walking out lately. Might be time to get a new one. I'd have parried his peacekeeper zones into the fucking dirt. That's what he was scared of. <laughs> I'm getting like audio out of my right ear and not my left ear. So I'm trying to twist it to see if that's the issue, but it... I might have to get a new headset. I doubt it. It's probably just the splitter. The splitter being weird again, but I mean we've had these for a bit. 
Sonic is not a fox. You know what, man? Don't ruin my fun. I am serious, you man. There was a stream. We streamed you can it. See it. Yeah, I don't and know we were like freaking means. out. We were like, oh my god, I'm gonna go against Sonic Fox. And then he was just like, nah, bro. Yeah, Quit. you can you can find the uh, the video and we like show you the bracket. Yeah. And everything. I don't remember which tournament video it was in because if I had gone against him, I would remember. Yeah, but, yeah. obviously. Yeah. That that was a bummer, dude. But hey, I technically beat Sonic Fox by disqualification, so I am a god. <laughs> Beat you by that DQ, man. <laughs> now this is the Echo that bugs you on Twitter 24-7. Yo, what's up, Echo? What's up, dude? What's up, Emery? And thank you so much! Welcome to the Tremblins! Hey, Fred. welcome to the Tremblins, Fred! Thank, thank you, so you so much, much for, for the sponsor, sponsor, dude. <laughs> Fuck yeah, bro! I, like, welcomed him like I was gonna give him a hug. You're gonna get welcome. your gift in a minute, man. It's a little delayed. Yeah, you'll get the cool, the fusion game. <laughs> yeah, hopefully it's like actually working. <laughs> Maybe. Seems like Streamlabs is sleeping today. Dude, what I don't get about like people asking for injustice is like when I played it, no one liked it. Yeah. So like that's why I'm just that that that's honestly why I stopped playing it. Like, the zoning did bother me, but I would have dealt with it because it was it, it's fun to do combos in the game. The game's still fun, but like. There were just like so many people that like weren't into it. I mean, same reason I'm not playing Marvel right now, you know? Yeah. Like, and uh, and I was like, well, fuck it, I'll go back to Tekken because I love Tekken, so it's not really that big of a deal to just play Tekken instead of Injustice yeah. if people don't like it. But now all of a sudden I'm only playing Tekken and people want fucking Injustice. So I don't even know, man. I don't know what y'all want. All right, come on. I don't on, know what y'all want for me. What are you doing? I think I'm just gonna become a porn star. I feel like my life would be easier. Then I'll know what you guys want, you know? Ah. The motivations Fine. will be clear. <laughs> no one wants to see that. Eh. I mean, I'm sure people would. I got a pretty fat ass, you know? If I bet if I shaved it, people would be ah. into it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Andy, man, I, exactly. The one time I saw him without it, I was like, that's what he looks like, but he looks so normal. Yeah. <laughs> I was expecting a mutant. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, here we go. Promotion. Back into yellow. Let's do this, baby. Round one. Fight. Hey, it's not Office Raven this time. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Should've waited. Damn it. Ah, my leg, my arms are too short. My arms are so tiny. No. Boom, baby. Woo. Jazz hand. Jazz hand combo. Round two. That was sick. Fight. I've been trying to land more of those. Oh my god, that beats her parry. What? Let's go. She just parried, but got hit by the back fist anyway. That's fucked up, dude. That's hilarious, actually. I like it. <laughs> she I doesn't. Mean it's fucked up. Oh, oh my dude, god, you I, fucked your perfect! I dropped my combis! Maximum drop. Round three. Fight. Oh shit. Damn, nice. I didn't even know she could pick up off of that shit. God damn. Oh my god, fuck. Should have parried low when I thought she was gonna go low. Oh, no. she's not even close enough. So because you whiff, and you don't know your range, I'm gonna die. You're a fucking dick. <laughs> she whiffed, and if you don't know her range, you're gonna die. You're <laughs> dick. Fight. I hate you. There you go. Got him! Thank you so much, Genocide. Let's try something cute. Oh, damn Ooh, it. nope. Why? I'm just trying to be cute. Thank you for the donation, Genocide. We'll grab you in a second, bro. Oh shit, fuck. Not like this. Alright. She jumped it. She jumped it! <laughs> fight. Sit down. Oh fuck, the kick didn't come out fast enough, but we in there. I 
waited this time. You're smart. Good shit. That promotion. Boom, baby. I was so scared. Shit is like, thank you so much for the two bucks, man. He's and like, for the very depressing story. Yeah, dude. I that know. hurts. He said, fuck me. I just got second on Fortnite because my controller died. Dude, you know Fortnite is as competitive as a fighting game. You gotta plug that bitch Dude, in, bro. But now is your controller broken? Because mine would be. <laughs> I just like, That sucks, man. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Thank you for the donation, man. Enjoy the stream. Oh my gosh. Sweaty Yeti, welcome to the stream, dude. Ooh. Yo, uh, Rogue, man, you have a good one, dude. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you so much. And, uh, yeah, hopefully I'm at least in Vindicator. But I'm really trying to work on my movement here. I haven't touched Injustice 2 in months, Illusional, well, so I haven't... We, like, dicked around with the new Oh, that's characters. true, that's true. You tried Black Manta. I tried Black Manta. I did Manta. try Starfire, uh, so... She did try... Er, she, he did try Starfire. Starfire's good. Um, so, like, we did dick around a little bit, but, like, not seriously, obviously. You would have seen it. Sit down, bitch! Ah, take that toe! Round two. <laughs> oh my god. Oh god damn it. Ah, uh, uh, uh. Nice. Gotcha. Whoa. I knew it. I knew it. Ooh. Very smart. That was smart. She's figured it out. Puzzled me out, have you? Alright. That's fine. Gotcha. Don't mind me, I'm just helicoptering. Ah, uh, damn it. What? Why am I fucking that up so much? Mm. That was beautiful! And sidesteps. That was godlike. Thank you, baby. Thank you, thank you. I'm so proud of you. And I'm so happy I get to see it um, before I have to go. Because I will be leaving the stream a little bit early. Um, but just, I'll just be slightly. back for the second Maybe an one. hour early, right? I'm going to put my hair back to normal today, guys. Yep. Hair's going back to normal. Norman. Norman. No more annoying hair. Well, so annoying. Put a green screen. It has been irritating me lately since we've been doing all the highlight videos and things. I'm just like, okay, I kind of get it now. <laughs> the fact that there's a giant fucking see-through part in the middle of my head does it to get irritated. <laughs> I think it's cool, man. <laughs> I'm gonna be sad when your hair goes back to normal, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. You're my dream girl right now, you know? Oh, soon I'll be ugly again. <laughs> you know, I like those, those goth chicks with the dyed hair. Oh, yeah. It's my weakness. God damn it. There. Huh? Where's the diagonal? All right, there. Uh, no. No. Uh, no. No. I don't know why I can do so well just randomly with KBD and then all of a sudden forget where the diagonal is. I. It's so hard to be consistent with it. Dude, what's up, Ash? Ready for the next battle. 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 Ready for the next battle. You know what? I think I understand what went on with Injustice. Hmm. Same thing as Marvel. Mm. Yeah. Game comes out. Oh my god, it's all just spamming. It's fucking lame. Oh my god, this game sucks. Why are you playing it? Oh my god. And then a few months later, people are like, you know what? Actually, this game's pretty cool. <laughs> now I want you to play it. I know I talked shit about it the first day you played it, but now I want you to play but now, it. But now it's okay. Uh, Holy man. crap, thank Yo, you Yo, Fred, thank so you so much, much for the 25 bucks, man. Holy for shit. For both the sponsor <laughs> and the donation. And I'm sorry you never got that gift because Streamlabs is derping. Yeah, yeah, dude. I don't know what happened with the sponsor thing, but thank you so much thank for your generosity so today, man. He said, hey, guys, been lurking since the Black Steel guy. Ooh, Black Steel Katana. You're the only streamers I actually learned the schedule of. Keep up the great bit. Thank, thank you so you much, so Fred. Much, that is Fred. saying a lot, actually. Yeah. 
Oh, damn, Butterfly Edge. Thought she was gonna go low. Damn, we're just getting straight Josie's today. Thank you so much for the 25 bucks, man. You are awesome. Ooh. Oh, no! Damn it! Dropping easy shit. Fucking sidewall hit. Woo there you go. Dude, this headset thing is trippy as hell. Is it? It's like popping back and forth. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, I feel really weird right now. Oh, Sarah, so get out of here with the black hair. He's been asking me for years. It's just gonna be my natural color again. Yeah. I wanted her to go black this you time. You wanted to, too. Ow, you bitch! Alright, no sword stance. Oh, well. Guess you can't flash out of that. Makes sense. Alright, there we go. What's up, Omega? He said his is also, uh, his favorite is also the black the only time. Ooh, damn it. I feel like Murakumo was the best video I made. All them super parries, bruh. My favorite one is the is the ladle. It's always been the ladle. Oh, the naked ladle My DVD video. My favorite has dude. always been the ladle, and it's because for so that long I awesome. wanted him to use it, and then he finally did it, and I was like, "Thank you, babe." Yeah. <laughs> I wanted the ladle so bad. Oh damn it! No! I thought I'd get lucky with a random launcher. I probably should have played that smarter. In hindsight. Ooh, smart! That was good. That was such a good reaction. <laughs> Can I open a pole on my next hair color? Nah, homie. I'm tired of getting shit talked. I'm gonna be normal. Forever. Boring yeah. and normal and ugly and un <laughs> not special. <laughs> All the things. <laughs> Ooh, good duck. Ooh, -hoo, there we go. Oh my god, they're gonna win. Okay. Damn it, I blocked it! Ah! Oh, I... I'm sorry, Omega. He said next to the Twin Blade video. The Twin Blade video will always be asleep. Oh, the Twin Blades OP one? Yeah. <laughs> standing Still Meta is your favorite? I did enjoy Standing Still Meta. Also, we can't forget about Bell Smooth. Oh, the Bell Smooth. <laughs> I should have known when I made the Standing Still Meta video that I should I should have moved away from Dark Souls then. Yeah. Like, the fact that that even worked <laughs> is testament to how bad that game is. <laughs> the funny thing is, is like, I... I remember all the talks that went into like all the different things, like standing still there. Yeah. And he was like bitching up a storm before that video. He was just like, I bet you I could just stand fucking still. <laughs> and I was like, do it, babe. And he did it. Yeah, because I had just gone against some guy who was doing nothing but waiting for me to attack yeah. and backstepping and hitting me. And I was like, dude, this game is fucking dumb. Like, I was like, this game is fucking dumb, and I'm gonna make a video to show how fucking dumb it is. And that was standing still meta. <laughs> it was hilarious, dude. Um, and Coconut Walrus, thank you so much, dude. He says, you actually made a game review. Wow. I loved it. But I think you could use some nifty graphics for each category. Also, hi, guys. Thank uh, you so much. I, like... We were talking about it yesterday, and we're really glad that Ruiner was the first one because we did want all the feedback to like make mm -hmm. things better and like kind of make it more polished. So like, thank you guys so yeah, much. Yeah, yeah, we could feedback. definitely use some like professional transitions and some cool looking smooth shit just to like make the video uh, flow a lot more in like a professional manner. Um, working on that, Coconut Walrus. Absolutely. Working on that. I just wanted to get that one out um, pretty quick. I wanted to focus more on getting back into serious commentary. Mm -hmm. I haven't done it since a strategy guide, so I wanted to get... That was my main concern. Um, so I spent most of the time writing out the script. Man, this guy just fucking win quit on me and now he's gotta deal with me again. That sucks. Yup. 
plan was foiled. Ooh. Ooh nice blocks. Uh, damn, yeah. Ah. Very nice blocks. Okay, I got him. Oh, damn it! Fucking A, man. I thought he was going low. Nice, nice, nice. Oh. Ah, no range! God damn it. Fuck. I need a washing pole. That's what I need. Yoshimitsu needs a washing pole. Fight. Complete with phantom range and everything. between there. Shit! God damn. Okay. Alright. We're going back down to green, boys. No, we're not. We're gonna demotion man. Oh, god damn it. I didn't realize that if I was gonna go into a high, I would've, I would've launched. Gotcha. Good shit. Thank you. That was quite nice. Thank you, thank you. A little All scary. Right. Reverse sweep. Ooh. Fuck's sake. Fucking butterfly edge and it's mid crushing bullshit. Oh, you're still out of there. I'm so mad good. that didn't connect. Oh, Ooh, that was dirty. Oh, that was nice. Yes, Gonna we are planning on it. making them regular parts of the channel. Absolutely. Oh shit! I was going for some real fancies yeah, there. Yeah, you were. <laughs> I'm still ready to fight. <laughs> Yo, thank you, Adam. I'm glad you, I'm glad you liked it, man. You got the day back. <laughs> yeah, uh, DP motion on the left side is starting to get more and more natural to me. I'm starting to finally starting get, to get it. it. Yeah, starting to finally get it. Mm -mm -mm -mm. What was your favorite weapon from Dark Souls 2? Scythe of Want. Scythe of Want, definitely. I really like the way that weapon performed. He said theirs was the Red Iron Twin and the Manslayer. The Manslayer was pretty cool. I didn't like that it that it didn't have as good of a moveset as the Black Steel, though. My favorite katana has always been the Ushi katana, just the basic one in Dark mm -hmm. Souls, but it always has the crappiest moveset, so Black Steel would have been my favorite. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Maverick. That's what we were trying to do, is kind of give you that contrast between the streams Round and videos. One. Oh, yeah, so absolutely. So I'm glad that you Fuck. like it. I also wanted to get back into writing. <laughs> Writing scripts and things. Yeah, like, well, just like, I used to really love writing. And I'm... I'm alright at it. I wouldn't say I'm, like, a pro or anything. But I'm not bad at writing, so... That was a big reason for wanting to do the game review, so I want to kind of get back into writing. Oh, the lag! Dude, I the can't wi -Fi even combo. Man. I wish I had perfected that Wi-Fi warrior emote. I know, we that's what I just thought. We need it right now. Thought, like, we need it right now. There you go. Kick me in the fucking shin, bitch. Oh my goodness gracious. Yeah, this is horrible. <sighs> All 
Alright, well. Round three. Free. Hopefully. Free. Plug your goddamn system in, brother. So much coconut walrus. He says, I saw a comment in chat. Instead of such a stiff script, you should insert the goofy, fun personality we love you for into the review. That's um, exactly what I want to avoid doing. It's like um, making it, like, silly yeah. and making it more... I appreciate that, coconut walrus, but I am a living meme for 30 hours a week. Uh, just let me have my one serious series. <laughs> <laughs> I want them to be sort of the same tone and style as like IGN and like professional game website reviews. And once I get my editing together, it'll all come together. And I, I, I hope I hope you guys will enjoy it. I saw a lot of people saying that like it should have been funnier or whatever, but that's exactly not what I'm going for. You know, that's like, that's not what I want. So um, they're probably going to stay professional, my friend. So hopefully you can, you can sort of enjoy them. Um, but, uh, yeah. Thank you for the donation, my friend. <laughs> I'm sorry if that disappoints you, though. Um, yeah, it's just something that, like, like we said, we're trying to keep the contrast between everything. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. But, uh, Rodmar, thank you as well. Thank you for the two bucks, man. Animo music still for <laughs> Tekken Tag Tournament 2. So, uh, I, I think I have all the soundtracks turned on in just a shuffle. So, there might be some songs from Tekken Tag 2, but there should be songs from all the games on right now. I just said, fuck it. I'm not gonna pick songs anymore. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't decide what I wanted to, wanted to have. But thank you for the donation, Ron Mark. So and Sona, welcome to the Trimlings, bro. Welcome. Welcome. Thank and it actually sponsor. worked this time. Thank you for the sponsor, worked. man. And Razor Man, thank you for the two bucks. So guess what? My Panthera has arrived, but I'm stuck at work for two more hours before I can go get it. Oh, oh damn, man. dude. Well, shit. I hope you enjoy it. You're gonna have to let me know about the quality of that stick. I've never used a Razor stick before. That last hit is such a tight timing. Yeah. Whoa. Ooh, nice tech. Thank you. Whoa. Ooh, really good conversion. Whoa, sick whiff punish. Okay. Okay. There we go. In there. Oh shit, fuck. That should have been a flash setup. Ow. 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 <laughs> Alright. All, right, All the owls. Fuck, I was in the air. How does he hit me with a low when I'm in the air? I was jumping. That's bullshit, dude. I thought he'd go for it because he was super plus, so I thought he was working a setup, but... Alas, he I don't think he not. really knows what that move's used for. <laughs> Maybe he got the read, I don't know.
What? This guy has got it blocking. God damn. Yeah, I'm not really sure what to do. Okay. There, there you go. Ah. Uh. Damn that's dead! GG GG! Woo! Jeffrey, mm. thank you so much. He says, trust your reviews. Ha ha. You don't rate the greatest competitive game for honor, so I trust IGN more. Fair enough. Please, one duel with King or Love, please. It'll never happen, Jeffrey. I'm sorry. It'll never happen. I'm sorry, I hate both of those characters. But you can watch this king beat me up, dude. <laughs> no. Thank you for the donation, man. <laughs> and Phoenix King, thank you so much. He says, I like the review. The only critique that I have is that you're a tad bit awkward sounding in it, but you can fix that with practice. Exactly. That's Absolutely. Exactly. I am going to be practicing my ass off. Um, but, uh, yeah, I would say, yeah, yeah, there were a couple times where, like, I stuttered. And I, I tried to get them out in editing, but I, I, there, there were a couple times where I couldn't. I kinda, it would have been yeah. far too weird. Yeah, it, it would have sounded weirder with the edit than it would have with the stutter, so... Sorry. But <laughs> it'll be better next time. Thank you for the two bucks, man. And Soul52, thank you so much. He says, sub phrase of his phrase. So I finally got my hands on Tekken, and I already figured out how to create that dash. Got the game money, by the way. Well, oh damn, he's calling you out. Damn, Shots fired. dude, that's mean. How bad? Are you on arcade stick, or are you on pad? Because if you can't KBD on pad, you just don't have thumbs, so... Like, because it's way easier on a controller than it is on stick. So that would be the difference. But if you're on arcade stick, then I am truly showed up, and that feels pretty bad. <laughs> Thank you for the donation, Saul. Feels like it's uh, about 80 because my feet are sweating. This yeah. is not comfortable. <laughs> they're cold, but they're sweating. <laughs> Thinking about opening my window. Thinking about it. Oh, well, everything's hard on an Xbox controller scissor, but it's a piece of shit. <laughs> of course it's hard on an Xbox pad. You realize that's the worst D-pad that has ever existed, right? Like, the worst, bar none. <laughs> it's not a real D-pad, it's a disc yep. with a disc on top. It's it's not even a D-pad, so that's, that's why. I'm talking about PS4 controller, my man. I would highly recommend to, uh, if you're a pad player, uh, playing this, playing Tekken on Xbox, Pick up a fucking converter and pick yourself up a dual shock, dude. It'll make your it'll make your life a lot easier. Or just play on stick. Cause honestly, the cost of the converter is gonna be about as much as the stick, so. Uh good controller converter with no lag, like a Brooks, it's like it's like a hundred bucks. So at that point you should probably just buy a stick. But 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 yeah, if you're having trouble, dude, that's that's exactly why, dude. The Xbox controller has never been good for fighting games ever. None of them. There's never been a fighting game where people are like, you know what? The 360 pad is excellent for this. Really? It's Nobody's ever said to play. Even in Gears of War, when you go to change your weapon because of the shitty-ass D-pad, sometimes you'll pick the wrong fucking weapon. And that's just up, down, left, or right. <laughs> you know? I got you, Nico. Um, he says, what character would you like to see as the third guest character? Type? Um... We were actually just talking about some Dead or Alive characters the other day at home. Oh, I would like to see Hitomi from Dead or Alive, but I would like to not see any guest characters, so that's my answer, really. I don't like I don't like guest characters. Nobody even plays Akuma except Punko. Nobody likes him, because they don't want him in the game. I mean, I guess it's good for the game, because it brings in, like, people from other fighting games, but I think we have enough guest characters with Geese Howard. I hope they just add Tekken characters. I don't want more guest characters, so... I would like to see, like, Anna or Marduk before anybody else, you know? I don't think that's what's gonna happen, but... 
Um, if we absolutely have to have a guest character, which... Please tell me we don't. But if we absolutely have to, like, dilute this game's purity with more shitty characters from other fighting games, then Virtual Fighter or Dead or Alive. Those are the only ones I'd pick. Michael Hornby, thank you so much for the sponsor, man, and welcome to the motherfucking Welcome! Trip. Thank welcome, you dude. so much. Thank you so much for the support, dude. <laughs> Enjoy the stream. Horn, bro. But yeah, I'm not a fan of the guest characters at all. I don't think they should exist. I think if they were going to do guest characters, it shouldn't have been Akuma or Geese Howard. It should have been someone from, I don't know, a game that's even somewhat similar. Like Dead or Alive or Virtua Fighter. Instead of just trying to force a meter character into a meterless game. Yeah. That's a really dumb idea. But, you know, I mean, it is what it is. Akuma's not OP, he's just annoying. So... It's not really it, it, it it's not really that big of a Let's deal. Let's just put in Yoda and Darth Vader. Be done. Yeah, dude, just fucking Fight. like at this point, really. Like, I really think it. I think it honestly kind of dilutes the integrity of the game with the um with the guest characters because the only reason you can add like that the only reason that they would have to put guest characters is selling out and everybody knows it. At least that's how I feel about it, right? You know. <laughs> They've got like hundreds of Tekken characters. Hundreds. And like, like, like Tekken Tag Tournament 2 had like the fucking biggest roster ever, dude. They got a shit ton of Tekken characters they could fucking draw from. And, but no, we're gonna, we need Akuma, right? Sure. Why not? You know, it's so stupid. Oh, Hitch, that wasn't a joke. It's okay. It's not that he didn't appreciate it. It's just that, um... When Hornby used to donate, I'm assuming it's Hornbro, he, his name was Hornbro. So that's what I'm saying. Fight. <laughs> oh, what, what did I do? No, they were like, oh man, Trent didn't appreciate Emily's joke, feels bad, man. Is this like, just tripping again? <laughs> I don't, know I don't think he knows about. who Hornbro was. Like, I was talking oh. about, like, Hornby being Hornbro. Donator. Oh, okay. But gotcha, also, gotcha. he's got horns on his head, so. Oh. I think it's just oh. a confusing time in the life of. Chat. It's you tripping, bro. <laughs> Please run into it again. Make this easy for me. <laughs> no. There we go. There we go. That Fucked him up. Fight. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. Devil Jim, you are going down, buddy. Oh! oh shit. shit. No! Uh oh. Yeah. God damn it. I was pressing a button after God. that. That's what got me killed. I was actually saying. <laughs> Uh, so Phoenix Geek, thank oh, yeah. you so much also, for the sponsor. Welcome Phoenix to the trim, Welcome bro. to the trim. It's your yeah. best, bro. Um, and so 52, thank you for the donation. Okay, give me a But so that she says, JK, I actually need to get an arcade stick because I'm breaking my left hand playing. It hurts so much. And I'm not trying to be mean. <laughs> Dude, that was the big reason I switched from pad to stick back in Street Fighter 4, and man, it's just not comfortable. I mean, like, like I know they're, they're like like some people prefer it and they think it's easier and whatever. I don't understand how they could be comfortable. That's yeah. the main thing. I don't care how if an arcade stick is harder to get used to or not. It's about comfort. <laughs> and uh dude fucking uh the, the thumb burn that you get oh my on the, the d-pad that is not oh. that's not a fun time it you hurts for days i can't play for more than an hour on a pad for, days, for uh dude. in a fighting game dude thank you for the donation i know you weren't trying to be mean uh extra cheese uh, if you're right he says they're contractually bound to due to the deal back when street fighter cross tech came out I have like heard that, but I would like to see like the actual proof behind that. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, I haven't. I haven't. Because read it, it seems to me all. that if there was a contract about making Street Fighter Cross Tekken, which was made, and then Tekken Cross Street Fighter, which hasn't come out yet, 
that they would not be able to get around that contract which requires them to make a whole game by just putting Akuma in it. You know what I mean? That doesn't even make sense. Like, that, that wouldn't even make sense as a contract unless they amended it, you know? So, you know, I don't know. Uh, so until there's like an, an actual, I don't know if there is or not. Uh, so correct me if I'm wrong. I don't believe there is an official response. I don't, I don't believe that's a fact. But correct me if I'm wrong, if you have, like, somebody from Namco saying, we were contractually obligated to put Akuma in the game, and that's literally the only reason he's in there, and Geese Howder is, isn't even a Street Fighter character, so that wouldn't even make sense, but we figured we'd put him in because Akuma's in. Why not? You know, then, sure, I'll believe you, but... There's a lot of, like... Lately, there's been a lot of, like, talk about stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, from... And and there's very little there's very little facts actually you know what I mean like like for example uh, people who think like you know people uh, with Marvel vs Capcom Infinite you know oh Disney made them do this Disney made them do that and like it it's likely that Disney made them do it but we don't have the facts it could have just been that Capcom made an ugly game you know it's possible Things do seem suspect yeah I mean they seem suspect but I'm not gonna like. Even though, yeah, that's what I personally believe. Woo! Right Damn. into the diddle. Fuck you! That's what I personally believe, that Disney fucked it up. I don't have any facts, so I'm not gonna say it, you know what I mean? And Horn Bro, too strong, thanks for the phone. Thank 20. you so much for the phone, 20, Horn Bro! Yo, what up, Trimmelers? Your favorite bro, <laughs> Horn Bro here. <laughs> Just landed a new job painting commercial aircraft. Ooh. Take my minimum duck. That sounds kind of cool. congratulations. That sounds like a great time. That sounds pretty cool. Painting commercial aircraft. That sounds awesome. Up on a ladder and shit. Hmm. That's, That's pretty cool. cool. You should paint dicks in like very obscure places where people Mini won't dicks. notice them until years later. Just baby dicks. Yeah, you should definitely paint dicks around the aircraft. <laughs> thank you for the 420 horn, bro. So Rosa family, thank you for the five bucks. Thank you so much. Just laugh my ass off. I've been using a broken Xbox One controller for the PC tournaments. Oh, like oh my gosh. Pick up a fucking dual shock, bro. Fuck. Xbox Xbox One Xbox controllers are great for shooters, but that's literally it. And maybe they're a little better for racing games, but if you're a racing enthusiast, you buy a fucking wheel anyway, so... But yeah, I would say their triggers are a little bit better for racing games. It's easier to be, like, sensitive with the gas in Forza than it is with a controller in Gran Turismo, for instance, but... Um, aside from that, the Xbox controller is pretty shit. <laughs> yes. And the only reason anyone thinks it's good is because... At the height of the Xbox 360's popularity, the only thing people played were shooters. Yeah. It was all Call of Duty all the time. That's all anybody ever talked about or played. So, of course, the Xbox controller was going to be the superior controller then, you know? Um, but... Oh my god, are you shitting me I mean, right now, now that... I, I feel like people are getting kind of tired of most shooters. There's Counter-Strike, and then there's Siege, and then everything else is irrelevant. Yeah. So, but we've also got I feel like people are getting kind of tired of shooters, which means it's kind of a better idea to own a DualShock for PC gaming than it is a 360 I wouldn't controller. say people are getting tired of shooters. I'd say we have this entire hipster community that is killing shooters. Oh, that's true. <laughs> like, because people are still interested in shooters. <laughs> PUBG is technically a shooter. Yeah. You know? But it's not Call of Duty. So yeah. So, we can play. <laughs> and it's like, well, I mean, sure. Yeah, back in the age of the FPS last console generation, I would not have argued that the 360 controller was the better one to own. If you could only own one. Better quick hit body or I'm gonna be so mad. There we go! Ha ha! Get fucked. Fucking this boy up. <gasps> the Fornholio, thank you so much. You're the best. Thank you, Fornholio, for the donation. Why use stick when you can be a peasant and use a keyboard? <laughs> Dude, keyboard's actually better than both. So, you're you're like the secret peasant that no one expects. Exactly. Keyboard is way better than both of those. Um, 
And uh, if you want something that, you know, if you don't want to, like, bring a keyboard and a fucking converter to every single fighting game tournament, get yourself a hitbox. Ooh, yeah. A hitbox is just a keyboard, but it... Portable. You know. Easier to port. Portable and... Yeah, easier to port. You don't need a converter because it's made for console, you know, yeah. so... Uh, yeah, dude, hitboxes are like the evolution of fighting games on keyboards. And the hitbox is indisputably the best thing you could use to play a fighting game. Um, just feels like cheating. <laughs> that's why I don't do it, dude. It feels like cheating. Yeah, yeah. You're just like, it's all buttons. So you're just like inputting codes. Hacking the Pentagon. <laughs> and you just gotta memorize, like, the order of the buttons. There's no... There's no finesse, you know what I mean? Like, like with the stick to in order to KVD, like there's finesse. I have to hit the exact corner, which is which takes practice, um, and that's why I'm not really all that great at it. But um, on a hitbox, you it, it's just a button combination, and you just tap it out in a rhythm, and that's it, you know. So that's why I haven't bought myself a hitbox, man. I, I feel like I would feel a little dirty. <laughs> It's a 52. Thank you so much, sir. It says, dude, I enjoy the joystick on the controller. That's what's breaking my hand. I can't play pad. My bro does, but I have no idea how. Hashtag getting arthritis. Dude, shit. Tekken on a joystick. I don't even know how you KVD on a joystick, soul. Especially on the 360. Honestly, joystick. that's tough. The thing is, is it's like literally all about what you're comfortable with in everything. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. just like. Like, you'll see dudes fucking, yeah. here, take my chair. I'm going to sit on the floor with my arcade stick. I cannot sit yeah. crisscross applesauce with my arcade so, wow. stick on my lap. I feel like it's, I don't have enough yeah, space. Yeah, I guess that's true. I, can't, I cannot imagine you know? using an analog stick to play a fighting game. And so but I, I am like, D-pad all the way if I have to use a controller. Most people are, but I have seen people use the joystick and do well with it. I think uh, Brawly Legs has to because he's handicapped. Yeah, because he's using his mouth. And he's amazing, so there you go. Yeah, it really just has to do with your comfort. Keep it up, man. Keep up the practice. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I love it when that happens. Yes, the perfect. The beat on. Oh. Pee pee fight. Oh god damn it! I forgot that hop kick literally beats everything. You have to like just block it at the beginning if he does that shit. Very annoying. He's just on Wi-Fi like everybody and we else. We really on needed PS4. to get that emote done before this yeah. freaking stream. Yeah, we did, dude. We really did. Ooh. Oh, that's what I wanted. You see to the see. fake out fucking suicide when you have no sword uh, and you go and you input the suicide command. He just like does it and turns around, but he makes the noise and everything yeah. like. And so people are like, oh shit, if they don't pay attention to the fact that you don't have your sword out, you can, you can scare the shit out of them. I would even, uh, like, to add to what you said, Extra Cheese said many comments on the internet contains false facts. The issue is, is like, there are people who are giving their opinion and others are taking them as facts. Like mm -hmm. what you just said, like, I think Disney had something to do with this. Yeah. Someone reads that and goes, Disney had something to do with that. Yeah, I read it's, something it's on It's one it. Reddit post yeah. and then all of a sudden, it's that's fact. a fact. Yeah. And like it's something like, that not. was previously opinion yeah. is now all of a sudden fact. Yeah. And that's the issue is that you're just getting all this, like, you can't even call it fake news or like fake facts at that point. It's just like, is that person a little touched in the head? <laughs> you a little touched, bro? 
<laughs> I mean, it's like, it's it's that fucking phone game when you were a kid where you... Yeah, telephone where yeah, it's like... Yeah, the telephone game. That's what it is, you know? Like, somebody says something, it sounds somewhat believable, and now... All of a sudden, oh, everybody true. believes it. Like the time when uh, we thought Lawbringer had a true 50 50. A Lawbringer. Law oh, yeah, Lawbringer. Yes. Not Lawbreaker. Lawbringer. Everybody thought he had a true 50 50. And you know what? Yeah, but even then, that wasn't the same thing I'm talking about because that is someone saying that that's fact. No. But, like, if someone was like, I think Lawbringer has a 50 50. Yeah. Uh, and someone was like, yep, yep, heard it here first. You know? It's true, yeah. it's true! <clears throat> Fight. Ooh. Oh. Damn. Oh yeah, Maverick, but I was quoting him, not the actual official interview, and that's what I'm saying. See? <laughs> you see how that can get yeah. fucking convoluted, man? Because I didn't read that, I didn't know. What? And you didn't know, you didn't read it. Die. Yeah, you sure. just thought. <laughs> Fight. Maverick, they said in an Capcom said in an official interview about their sponsor, Disney, which without them the game wouldn't exist. They actually said that the reason the game is so ugly was Disney's fault? I, I highly no, doubt I it, Maverick. I think he's talking about the, uh... I someone else was talking about something else Disney did in chat, and I think that's what he's talking about. Oh, okay. About. Yeah, I don't think he's talking about what he's saying. Maverick, you, you've got to take everything... I love you, Maverick, and I'm glad you come to every stream, but you got to take everything he says about Marvel with a huge fucking grain of salt. He literally sat there the entire first stream just talking shit about it. Oh. And, and not enjoying, like, the game or the stream, and... Yeah, so... Yeah, I, <laughs> I know everybody's mad about the way the game looks, but let's not go making shit up now. It's a copy there. Well, yeah, that's what I I'm think saying. the game's just ugly because it was rushed. <laughs> you know? It seems like it was just rushed. Yeah. Really? His punishes on lock. Oh, just barely fucked up the spacing. Very nice. Very nice. I'm glad you like the emotes, me. Jeffrey Trump. Thank you, Jeffrey. <laughs> Thank you for the donation, Jeffrey. The next time you play the Gundam theme, I will take the lead. <laughs> To protest for the free the pep nips <laughs> and to deport hybrids. God bless America. God damn it, Don't you shit talk Gundam like that, Jeremy. God damn it, Jeremy. <laughs> and our current state of a. You better not take a knee during the Gundam National Anthem. I'll fuck you up, dude. I will fly over there in my Sorry, RX 782. You can't come to the White House anymore if you do that, bro. Shove my beam sword up your ass. <laughs> you are banned from the White House, buddy. And from chat forever. <laughs> yeah, I get it, Maverick. I'm with you on that one, dude. I wish the X-Men were in it, too, but... Oh, yeah, that is yeah. the biggest travesty to happen to Marvel. Yeah. Is that the X-Men are not in it anymore. The game's super fun, man. I mean, if you get the chance to try it out, it is really, really fun. I'm a little worried about it, though. I don't think it's going to do well. It's not selling well. Well, to be fair, we talked about it, and... Uh, you were telling me that the kind of like the same thing happened during the beginning of Marvel Three, and it took a long time for it to be what it was and gain the popular that it that it has now. Yeah, well, and they so, pissed people off for a totally different reason in Marvel Three by coming out with Ultimate six months after release. So, oh, wow. honestly, the funny thing is, I think the best thing for Infinite is to come out with Ultimate six months later. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh no! I wanted to get my double low. I was, no. go I was going for fancies. Let me going. let me let me do some viable Reel shit. It back. Two more days till Gundam versus. I know. Damn straight, I'm dude. so excited. 
I've been talking mad shit at home too. Oh yeah, she mad thinks, shit. She thinks she's gonna body. I'm gonna body the world. It's not just you, dear. I'm body genocide. I'm body at Evo. I'm body the whole world. <laughs> I was telling you, I was like, I've never felt like a game was so intuitive in my life. Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> okay. Round three. But yeah. Fight. That KBD! I did it! I made him whip! Yes! That was sexy. Yeah, Dactyl, welcome to the stream, dude. What's up? They're finally done making DOA DLC? Nuh-uh, extra cheese. I don't even believe that shit. That's impossible. DOA can't have enough DLC. I actually did pick that up on sale, though. It was on uh, PSN. I finally got back into DOA a little bit. We, I mean, we were just fucking around. Yeah, we were not practicing. It doesn't feel as good as I thought it did back in the day. Yeah! Which is weird. I thought it was such a smooth game, but after playing Tekken... I now understand why DOA isn't really played in tournament. It, it's just not as good of a game. First thing I hear when I go on the stream is saying every little body in the world. Dude, Gundam versus two days. Get ready. You getting bodied and you get bodied. Yep, we just preloaded it this morning. Bodied. We preloaded it this morning. Hell yeah been talking about what I was doing wrong in the last streams and I was like baby you have no idea I'm ready yeah I've been thinking yeah lack of x-men is a is a huge bummer um but I never played any of the x-men why I'm so sad about the x-men being gone I think that automatically opened when you started um. your, uh exited in the tray yeah it's still open I just want to make sure it's not like I don't think it's downloading anything because you deleted it, but yeah, it's not downloading. Um, but it's because of a Justin Wong. That's that's sad. I don't get to see any cool like Storm, uh, yeah. Wolverine, and Sentinel. No Mango Sentinel. Yeah, dude. In three, I played Spencer Dante Virgil. I really was not concerned about the X Men not being in this one. What Check does piss me off is that it. Virgil's not in it, though. Like, what the F? But it's not a big deal, because I got Dante. I've honestly, like... Outside of, like, the 90s cartoon when I was a kid, I've never liked the X-Men. I don't like any of the new movies. I've tried so hard to like them, too, because people are like, they're really good. And I don't like them. Logan was pretty good, but that's only because I like edgy shit. Because you're fucking hip. Nice, nice, nice! Oh my gosh, the slag is ridiculous. 24 hour Gundam stream horn, bro. Alright. Dude, I'll fall asleep. I'm not even gonna lie, I'll probably get you out. Oh. Oh, goddamn. But I'll still body in my sleep. Oh my gosh, really? Come on. Alright, just, okay. just lay on the ground at this point. Okay? I'm thinking about it, to be honest with you. This isn't even playing, it's not doing anything at all. Oh, Just kill me! <laughs> End my life, please. Thank you. Thank you. Cool. You lose. <laughs> the very first Marvel vs. Capcom was X-Men vs. Street Fighter. You right about that, Maverick? That is true. Uh, it is what it is. Which one is X-Men Evolution? And then I'll tell you exactly how I feel about it. Oh, it's, a. Uh... Oh, that cartoon is ass, dude. Get out of here. That was when they first started doing the hipster skinny teenager shit. No. Yeah. No, 90s X-Men are bust, dude. X-Men Evolution was trash when I saw it originally. And I was in the age bracket they were supposed to be appealing to. Yeah. I just, like... Like, I remember... Alright, so, like, anything that, like... One of the things that really pisses me off about advertisements, TV shows, anything, like, legitimately pisses me off, is assuming shit about me. Yeah. Right? And when they came out with X-Men Evolution, uh, 
when they came out with X-Men Evolution, I felt like they were assuming that I was some dumb fucking teenager that watched, like, the Winx Club and Totally Spies, and that's why they went with that art style. And I, I tried walk I, I tried watching it and it was just garbage teenage drivel, dude. It might it was basically Twilight X Men edition, dude. Fuck that shit. Like I, I only saw two episodes, so maybe I'm prejudging it, but no, Probably. fuck that shit. I only dude. saw two episodes. I hate when people assume shit about me, dude. That shit drives me nuts, man. Like the other day I was reading an article and they used some word. I don't remember what word it was. It wasn't even that big of a fucking vocabulary word. And they were like, don't pretend like you knew what that meant. Oh, daughter. Yeah, and I was like, fuck off! I know what that means! <laughs> yeah, it was daughtered, right? <laughs> I was so mad. Was I was hard. like, fuck this website, dude. You think I don't know what fucking daughtered means. All right. Well, the most offensive thing is they literally screen capped Miriam Webster, Kid. fucking put it on there, and they're just like, here's what it means in this situation as this well. Shit is like, so they just annoying. straight up made, like, assumed everyone on that was ever gonna read that article was still in kindergarten. <laughs> yeah. Basically. But I mean, that's the fucking Twitter age. It's it's funny to be ignorant now, so that's what they do. Get danked on me, thank you for the five bucks. He just says, so, what's up, so, danked on? What are you, Appreciate Jay? you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it has a decent story, but a shit ton of problems. Yep, let go of me. Let go of me. No, I'm not getting RDC'd, man. I am definitely oh. teching this, I think. Nope. Aha! Ah, there Bam, you go! Bam, bitch! <gasps> what do I do now? <laughs> Just get him with the tiki toes. <laughs> Extra cheese, like, was it a bigly word? <laughs> it's a bigly word. <laughs> oh my. Oh man. And like, Dottard is not a commonly used word, but I don't even know how I learned that word growing up. I think I'm it was a vocabulary, sure was a vocabulary word in vocabulary fucking word school, in, dude. Like third grade. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was a vocabulary word in school. Like, I am technically a millennial. They write these articles for millennials. If I learned it in school, I feel then like, the author know, of the article is the only dumbass. I feel like we're you on the, the, I mean? the top edge of what is considered a millennial. No, there are people older than us who are considered really? millennials. It's coming into adulthood in the new millennium. That's what a millennial is. We are, uh, if you turned 18, uh, you know, in the new millennium, you are a millennial. That's okay. how it works. Eventually, they're gonna come up with a new catchy name for the next generation, but they don't have one yet. So we've got like three generations of people who are considered millennials. <laughs> At least they stopped naming them based off of the alphabet, like it was never gonna end. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like there are a finite generation number of letters. Generation X. Yeah. <sighs> you got one vote from chat to watch Iron Blooded Orphans. I don't want to. Iron get Blooded Orphans is a great Just place to it. start, dude. Just, Just, do, Just do, do it. Do it. Just Shia do LaBeouf it. all the way, bro. Uh, <laughs> God damn it, we still need to do tech and bowling. Eh. I really want to. I'm oh, serious. you really want I to? I want to body okay. you in tech and bowling. All right. I just haven't, like, heard it's very fun. I don't care. I'll still body you for free. <laughs> I don't even, I still don't have it downloaded, man. No. Ooh, what the fuck? All right. There, eat a dick. I'm ashamed of the millennial generation. Sad to be a part of it. Same here, man. Most people. I'm with are, you, my if friend. If you're not, then obviously you're a problem. Yeah. It's like five of you. <laughs> if you're not ashamed of being a millennial, you're part of the problem. <laughs> I mean, yeah. And not like part of the problem as millennials say you're part of the problem, but like part of an actual real problem. <laughs> no, Hammersmith. No. Said. Please remember that people are fucking stupid, though. I once had a guy try to demand an apology from me because I used the word intuitive in a sentence. What? So it was Why that, would, what? what'd you call me? Uh, nothing? <laughs> Round 
the fuck? That's so bizarre. Dactyl and uh, Robos, thank you guys so much. <laughs> thank you guys so much. <laughs> Alright, what this man's ass. Good shit. Got One more. Toe. One more. Let's go. Fight. Have you ever killed a man by just punching him in the toe? I can. Well, you are. I have a, a very boss. particular set of skills. <laughs> and metal hands. <laughs> Ooh, the blocks. Oh, he just bitch slapped you. Ooh, damn it! I was trying to flash so bad, I got my shit fucked. Oh, you're dead. Good yeah, fight. He's ultra dead. <laughs> Jackal, thank you so much. He says, by the way, that trippy P was dope. Even if it was against a casual fighter ring. Congrats, dude. Been waiting forever for you to pull it off. Thank you so Same. much, dude. That's how I felt about Same. it, too. I was like, even if I did it against a ninth Kiyu, it's still impressive. Yeah. Like, for somebody to not even land a jab is a pretty big deal. Yeah. <laughs> like, three times in a row. Yeah, three times it's in like a row. One match. So. Yeah. yeah, so I went ahead and posted it. I was thinking about not posting it, but I was like, nah, man, I have to. It is my triple perfect. <laughs> uh, thank Rob you for the thank donation, you as dude. well, sir. He says, as a 20 year old man who did like the Wings Club and Totally Spice, the same. Well, I'm not a man, but who cares? Uh, <laughs> this is growing up, X Men, Evo X -Men Evolution was legit trash. Damn, dude, you were in their market and you still thought it was trash. Oh my God. How the fuck does that happen, bro? <laughs> I'm not what are you fucking intuitive? <laughs> Man and the, the 90s X-Men cartoon was honestly godlike. Best art style, dude. 90s cartoons in general were the best. Oh, yeah. Um, X-Men, the 90s X-Men was the best, and they've never done a better X-Men since then. The 90s Batman cartoon was the best, and they have not even come close to topping that. Batman Beyond was pretty good. Batman Beyond was pretty yes. dope, but not close enough. And then... The 90s Spider-Man was dope as shit. And you know why, dude? Back then, you could still put guns in oh, cartoons. True, true. And it wasn't just like you're... Even though it was a kid's cartoon, it wasn't... It didn't really feel like you were watching something for kids. There were, like, real issues. Yeah. People smoked. You know? <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, I don't think it's okay to do that. But. Oh, yeah, I know. Well, I don't we don't really need smoking in a kid's cartoon. But, like, no. you know, when I see Batman fighting a bunch of thugs... And none of these thugs have a gun. I gotta wonder, damn, this is not a very well-funded mafia. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, Why do they have How guns? do they not even have a fucking pistol? Oh, because it's a cartoon. Cartoon logic. You know, and that just kind of, it's a huge turnoff. And they didn't start doing that until after the 90s cartoons. Because the original Spider-Man, the original Batman, the original X-Men, they all had guns. They all had, like, real, realistic threats in them, you know? Mm. Like, and then all of a sudden, you know... Well, fucking it clearly helped the violence. Can't, can't do much violence in cartoons. It clearly helped the youth. Because, of you know. Our age, because no one dies yeah. anymore, right? Because the kids aren't going to be inspired by the superhero who doesn't use guns. And naturally, any kid who watches that cartoon is going to grow up to be a psycho who wants to shoot the guy wearing the bat suit, right? Totally. Like, that doesn't make any sense. I don't even know why they would do that. It's dumb. Power Rangers was legit, dude. I loved that shit when I was a little kid. <laughs> Corny as fuck, but you know, honestly, I've gone back and watched uh, some of the fights on Power Rangers. The fight choreography is pretty good. It's pretty good. Right. Like they, they're like doing spin kicks and shit, just like kicking bitches in the face. I'm just like, oh shit. I didn't remember this was this cool when I was a kid. They have pretty good fight oh, scenes dude. in Power Rangers, dude. I was all about the Power Rangers. I actually saw Power Rangers on ice when my family went, when my dad was stationed in Japan. We saw Power Rangers Ranger. on ice. Oh yeah? That's yep. awesome, dude. Wish I could have seen it. Are you sure it was Power Rangers, not Super Sentai Rangers or whatever their version is? Um, no, it was Power Rangers. It was legit Power Rangers. they were saying, Power Rangers. <laughs> and my parents Ranger. still, to this day, will say that every time they hear Power Rangers. <laughs> Power Rangers. Oh, dude, I would jump. Well, I guess I hadn't started it yet, so you're off the hook. Oh, god damn it. Ooh, nice damn, get owned. Good fight. <laughs> Very nice. Good fight. I like his name, Shadow Hat Door. Alright. I drank all my coffee. 
Ew. No. Is it cold? No. Grains? No, yes. What do I do? We should probably. What do I do? You can go if you need to spit it no, out. No, I'm just kidding. Um, it's but we should probably get real coffee filters. Yeah. Because those ones don't really fit in our pot. Oh, that's like the worst thing ever. <laughs> Always wanted a plank because of Ed, Ed, and Eddie. <laughs> the <f> <laughs> Did I see Reptor on ice? I wish that would have been so cool. The oh Rugrats. man, yeah. I like the Rugrats when I was a kid too. I feel like kids' cartoons don't teach kids shit anymore, dude. Dude, Kim Possible was such a good cartoon too because you know what that taught me growing up? Was that all these cute boys are gonna treat you like poo and you should probably just date the dude that's super nice to you all the time. And guess what? I did that. <laughs> and I'm very happy. <laughs> There like you when go. Kim Possible and Rod Stoffel finally got together, I was just like, ow! They're so cute! <laughs> um, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, dude. Um, Modern kids cartoons, I'm pretty sure are just detrimental to kids. Um, I got to play stepdad for five months when I dated this lady who had a kid. Um, that was weird. Um, but, uh... I was 19, and I remember thinking then, when we were hanging out, and we were watching these kids' cartoons, and it was Yo Gabba Gabba, and I remember thinking, this kid's probably gonna grow up to be retarded. <laughs> like, what is this show, and what's the point of it? Like, <laughs> in the backyard again, and that fucking, like... Is the backyard against the one with the racist duck? Yes. Like, like, is, like, that, ooh, ming, ming, is it Ming Ming? Is it Ming Ming, ming it, too? It, is, is it Ming Ming? Like, I was just like, like, what the fuck is this? Why do you let your son watch this? I think he's getting dumber. <laughs> what are they? Uniqua, Tasha. Oh, yeah, Uniqua, the most racist fucking shit. Tyrone, <laughs> Austin, and Pablo. Tyrone, the fucking moose, dude. Gotta that's name the, the Moose Tyrone, cause that's, Mooses so that's are not brown. that's the one that you're thinking of. What was that one? Cause there's, that's also one. But that's not the one you're thinking of, I don't think. Oh my god, this guy just fucking wrecked me for free, dude. That's cause you're sitting there talking to Gavin. <laughs> <laughs> what is the... Ming Ming Duck. Yeah. Look Wonder, Wonder Pets. Pets! That's what it is. I had to watch so much freaking Wonder Pets Wonder when I was Pets. nannying. I almost lost it. Like, legitimately, yeah. my mind almost snapped. <laughs> like, finally, I just, like, started screaming, and I was like, Everybody go to bed! We're not watching it anymore! It's so like, annoying. I've been watching it all day! Yeah, dude. You like, yeah. <laughs> I had to ask her at one point, Do you really want your son growing up imitating a racist Chinese duck? Like, <laughs> you know what? The I just question? don't, you it's know. Being a girl or a boy, that's the most. <laughs> oh my god. God damn it, dude. <laughs> Impossible was a pretty good cartoon. I watched that shit too, dude. Roz the elephant? I didn't even know about that one, Jeffrey. Jesus. Oh boy. Jesus, so we got Raj the Elephant, Tyrone the Moose. Pablo the Penguin. Uniqua. I don't even know what Uniqua is supposed Uniqua. to be. Like, she just looks like a dinosaur. Okay. <laughs> She's... Alright, so she my like mom... My mom used to say something when I was a kid. Um, Uniqua the Backyardians, what is she? And and I think, I think anybody that grew up with at least one black parent has heard this. And it is Blurple. You're so black, you're purple. Right? And Uniqua is a purple character whose no, name she's just... Pink. She's purple. She's pink. She's purple-ish no, enough. she's pink. <laughs> like, that's pink. Either way, dude. It's supposed to be Shaniqua. <laughs> <laughs> well, the funny thing is, is I looked up what she... Like, what, what her species is, and it's a Uniqua. It's both her name and her species. <laughs> she's a Uniqua. So... Little, little facts about- Oh, this is the double perfect guy! Or the triple- This is dude I triple perfect Well, now you can't get You think he's gonna get his revenge? Shit. 
Oh, okay. I remember why I had trouble with him. So the um the triple perfect was the second set we played. The first set I won, but barely, and it's because this guy's a button masher, and you can't mind game him. You have to just you just, just have to like mash buttons when you're positive, and that's that's why in that fight. You, if you saw, I was just doing this, because look, he's just mashing- oh, fuck's sake, God. Gotcha this and time! I, and I forgot, he rage hearts, like, immediately. <laughs> Control up the sweet thing, he did, he says, When I was in first grade, I had karate lessons on Fridays, but it interfered with new episodes of x -Men. So I was like, duck this, and quit- <laughs> Dude, my mom- Damn never straight! Let me. I actually never really got to watch the Wings Club, because they'd come on Saturday mornings, and I had soccer games Saturday mornings. So I barely ever got to watch it. They never let me quit. <laughs> I wish I could have. I'm about way fatter as a kid than I already was. <laughs> God damn it! No, why? Oh. Okay. There, eat a dick. <laughs> Thank you for the donation control all sweet. Thank you so much, too. Dude, I love that yeah, Jackie Chan cartoon. You gotta get those new X-Men cartoons, dude. That was before fucking DVR. You couldn't even record it. Yeah, you anymore. couldn't record it. Well, I think at the time they had like just come out with DVR uh, for like like Winx Club era. Mm. But my parents weren't gonna have that. That yeah. was expensive. <laughs> they were just like, nope. Yeah, John said he just thought it was a combination of black and purple. <laughs> he didn't know it had anything to do with that. Yeah, dude. It's like, it's like one of the insults that, like, the black side of my family will, like, throw at people sometimes. You at know? one another, dude. At yeah. one another. Yeah, at one another, yeah. It's, it's not uh, even, like, people outside the family. Interesting. It's fucking chaos and anarchy. At any family reunion. Well, no, it was better when I was there because then everybody could unite on the front of who the fuck is the white girl? Oh my god, yeah, dude. <laughs> people treated you so badly. It was fucking ridiculous. I honestly My family is super it racist. Fine. I knew it going into it. I think my family is actually like more racist than most like southern rednecks. Oh, yeah. Just. Yeah. Toward the opposite race. Yeah. No, well, not the opposite, just to any other race, really, because I've heard not just white people. Oh, from yeah. Them. Oh, yeah. I've heard my, my grandma go on a rant about, like, Mexicans yep. and shit. Yeah. One it's time, my silly. grandpa's the same way. The, my, uh, my Italian grandpa, he's, a um, he's, like, his family's from Italy, and they are very, um, they're very racist. And I remember one time he was bitching about someone being racist towards him because he was a freaking Italian, and I was like, and look what you do now, Grandpa! And I was like, it's different. It's totally different. It's different? I'm not at all brown. God damn it. Like, okay. So, Skytar, thank you for the five bucks. He says, hey, just saw you ruin a review video. Also, can you grow out your hair? There's power in the fro. Oh my gosh, no, dude, so it's, getting, it's too hot. I need like, a shave. Emily, it. can you tell Trent to grow his fro out? And I'm like, dude, I don't tell this man to do anything. I think I'm going to shave it, Skydar. I'm sorry to disappoint you, man. Thank you so much for the five bucks, though. Dude. I need to shave it. It's so hot, dude. Yeah. I'm sweating my ass off. Thank you so much, ye boy from the vine. Welcome to the Tremlins. Hey, welcome You're to great. the tri Tremlins. The Tremlins. Yeet, baby. Yeet. Does he watch Kurthrian as well? Maybe. Probably. Dude, that's Pro that, probably. him and Skump. Those are my Skump. boys for Call of Duty content. When I just want to watch somebody go fucking ham, dude, those are the only two dudes I watch. Shit. God damn it. Thank you for the sponsor, Yeet. Yeet. But yeah, Ben 10 was also great, guys. I've never seen it. I actually, like, prejudged it hella bad. And then one day I Yeah, I prejudged it, it too, And my brother was watching it. it, and I was like, this is really cool. And he was like, I told you! Because, <laughs> like, I, we had to not watch one of my shows for it. Yeah. Which didn't happen with my younger brother. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, I was like, okay, we can watch Ben 10. <laughs> I'll like it. He always had the best freaking taste in shows, honestly. Who 
perfect. Thankfully, Trent did not become a racist. Oh yeah, I would, I would get really mad at my mom when I was a kid about some of the stupid shit she said. Hey, your fucking husband's wife. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Doesn't even make any sense. You married a white dude. <laughs> perfect. Perfect. Is that a double perfect? Is that your second one? Yeah, that was double perfect. <laughs> yep. Yo, hey. Beam Zerky! Welcome to the Tremlins, my man! Thank sponsor. you for the sponsor, dude! <laughs> yes. I think there are red-haired pictures on my Instagram if you just wanna look at it. I'm oh yeah, you have, to, you have to scroll you way down. You gotta scroll literally down. all the way to the bottom. Way so down. Just, but yeah, her hair used to be red when we first started dating. That was how I got him, actually. I purposely dyed my hair red. <laughs> <laughs> Get cornrows? <laughs> Fuck no, dude. Can you see my ass sitting in a fucking barbershop chair for the hours that that would take? Yeah. Come on, hours. bro. Come on, bro. There's no way. I don't go to the barbershop now for even a buzz cut. <laughs> and that only takes ten minutes. <laughs> No way would I ever fucking get cornrows, man. I'm gonna look like Kevin Federline. <laughs> what the fuck are you trying to do you to me, bro? look like Kevin Federline. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> or like any white person ever that's gone to Jamaica for vacation. Yeah, dude. It's like, yeah, I came back and, you know, really had a life-changing experience. I smoked a lot of weed. No, it my aunt, sweet. like, I remember, uh... My name is Snoop Lion now. My aunt coming back from her... Her freaking uh, honeymoon. She went to Jamaica and she like brought me one of those pencils with like the heads on top. And yup, she definitely went to go get cornrows. That was interesting. <laughs> I did not know how to feel. That's cultural misappropriation. Is it if uh, Jamaican does it? <laughs> if you go to Jamaica, I don't know. The last really stupid does. fucking thing I saw in SJW freaking out about were white women putting cornrows in their hair for Coachella. Oh, yeah, no, braiding, not even oh, cornrows, yeah, yeah, just braiding. braiding. And I was just like, really? Like, they, that's never been a thing. They, uh, they, they can't braid their hair. Okay, all right, then, you know what? You're just right, you know, because they were just so evil and they were personally the ones that fucking fucked you up, <laughs> you know? Like, come on, guys, use your brains. They, white people can braid their hair. It's fine. I don't think anybody should be offended by that. Next up, you're gonna fucking ruin every rapper's career by telling white people they can't listen to rap music. And you know the only people who listen to rap music are white people! <laughs> Especially here in Colorado. Or at least some of the crappy oh rap music. Yeah, oh most my. of the people that listen to rap music are white people. <laughs> or my mother. And if, and if they fucking do that, dude, rap is just gonna die. But that's what's next. Psycho. That's what's next. <laughs> No, next it's gonna be you're not black enough to have cornrows. <laughs> Reminds me of that. Cut that, that shit out now. That Eminem lyric back in the day where he's like, Give me that flavor flave clock or something like that, you know, when he got like beat up and got his shit taken. I don't remember exactly what the lyrics were. It's been a while since I've heard that song, but it's stupid. Whenever dude. I hear Just anything let people stupid do at what all, they want to do. Back to the original series of unfortunate events movie and it's uh what are you making for dinner? Pasta putinesca? What did you call me? That's what I always think. Yeah. I'm always like, that is just as stupid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, I'm just like, man. I thought that was legitimately gonna be the stupidest thing I ever heard in my entire life. Nope. It was not. Nope. It's real life now. Yeah, now it's Oh just boy, and tweets are getting to be a 280 character limit now, so it's just gonna get better. <laughs> oh, baby. Yeah! You know, why don't we just raise it to a thousand characters and just really let people go in on their stupid fucking opinions? <laughs> I don't know why anybody wants the Kardashians to have more characters to use. <laughs> yeah, Ali, that's what I'm talking about. He said most people who listen to mainstream rap are white people. Black people listen to exactly. underground rap. Yeah, dude, I... The only rap I ever listen to is gangster rap, dude. I'm never gonna fucking listen to Lil Wayne. That guy's a pussy. <laughs> but me and my girlfriends on the way to the club yeah. probably would, you know? Yeah. Our pumpkin spice latte. Oh, yeah, you know, you gotta get your pumpkin spice latte. <laughs> you got Uggs. your Ugg boots, boots, your blast in Little Wayne with your you no know? bass speakers and your fucking Nissan Altima. Yep. It's a good time. <laughs> oh, my. 
Dude, SJW's gotta be careful, dude. Dude, 50 Cent literally made a career off of white women. <laughs> Oh my god, dude, yes, because all of his music is garbage. <laughs> all of his it's music. It's like like a lollipop. Ugh. It's just like, like a whole bunch of white girls like, one day I'm going to kiss a black man and my dad's going to be real mad. Yup, and that's <laughs> why I'm blasting this music in the middle of fucking bumfuck rural nowhere. That was like how we grew up, dude. We grew up in Stafford fucking Virginia, bumfuck rural nowhere. I have seen... Yep. Tons of Ugg boot wearing white girls blasting the fucking lick, lick me like a lollipop oh, song. Yeah. Oh yes, they love it. They love it. Well, lick me like a lollipop is actually Little Wayne. You're thinking of Candy Shop. Oh which is yes, that's the one. Cent, which is why I, mean, I am white. I would know. That's the one I was talking about. Yeah. <laughs> but Phoenix King, thank you very much, sir. Yeah, dude. If I'm if I'm listening to rap and they're not talking about shooting somebody with an AK-47 and bitches, it ain't rap. That's my opinion. It just ain't rap, dude. No such thing as rap with a message, bro. Fuck that. Corn is originally Native American, so you can't you can't call them cornrows, or I'll be offended. Dude, for real. God damn it, dude. Oy. I didn't realize I was gonna get a counter hit. I was just going for double lows, man. You were just pressing I didn't buttons. think he was gonna push a button. Oh my gosh, the almighty thing is thank you so much, dude. I'm so sorry oh. about your day today. Oh. oh, you've gotta be kidding, right? I'm sorry. I'm a failure. <laughs> Thank you for the donation, Phoenix said, I'm glad you guys are streaming today, because the people at work are giving me a hard time, and it's hard not to choke the life out of them. Oh! Try your bestest, bro. That's all you can ask for. I know, you know? exactly how that shit feels, dude. I wanted to kill every single one of my coworkers in my last job, because they were all bad at their jobs, and I kept having to fix yep. all their bullshit. One girl didn't even speak fucking English, but she worked in IT. By the way, we answered phones for people who spoke English. Really smart idea. I begged them to fire that bitch for like ever, dude. Cause every single time she got a case, no one could fucking understand her, so I ended up having to take her cases anyway. So it was like, she, guys, she doesn't, she factually does nothing. I know it's a shame she doesn't speak English, she's an immigrant, it sucks. But realistically, she's doing nothing. <laughs> so, can she leave? <laughs> or have her do something else, like, not talking on the phone. So. Yeah, don't make her do something talking on the phone. And the thing is, she also didn't know anything about IT. If she was, like, good at IT, I would have been like, whatever. So there's a language barrier, but she can do her work. But yeah. no, she didn't She didn't know anything about computers. She would ask me the stupidest questions all day long, dude. Shit would drive me nuts. But, uh, good luck, dickus. Error massage. I feel your pain, man. Don't choke the life out of anyone, but thank you so much for the five today's bucks, Today's not a good day to go to jail. <laughs> yeah, today's not a good Maybe day. tomorrow, just not today. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a nostalgia filter on the whole chat today? Yeah, dude, that's the new YouTube fe feature. It changes everyone's from... A a a See, what everyone's really saying is, like, you suck at this fucking game, Trent. But it changes their mean comments into 90s cartoon references. So, pretty useful. Jeffrey, thank you for the 268. <laughs> Lol, listen to Tay K, the race. He's in prison, awaiting the death penalty or life imprisonment, and he's only 17. There you go, Trent. Last so, if he's, uh, if he's only 17, is his rap even Fun. good? That does sound pretty intense, though. I don't know who this kid is. Wait, so wait, he's awaiting the death penalty and they let him record rap music videos? How's this work, Jeffrey? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. How's well, this no, work, the, dude? He's not wrong, because when I looked it up, the first thing that came up under the race was Oh, no, I'm sure, I'm sure he's right. I'm sentenced just, to life. I'm just curious to know how he gets a recording studio. He was sentenced to 150 years in Texas prison? Oh, it's fucking Texas, dude. Oh, with a capital murder charge? Well, oh, if well, you, you, if you killed somebody, then, you know, you're kind of an asshole. <laughs> I'm just saying. I don't know if it was legit or not. I haven't read anything, so I'm not gonna dude, say you gotta act fucking, like I know. But you gotta be Snoop Dogg, dude. You gotta kill people and not get caught for it. That's the idea. And then just make a business out of smoking weed later on in life. And weed finding apps. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Santa Fox. Thank, Thank you, 
Thank you, Boxdale. Welcome, welcome to the Tremlins. You are great. My dude, thank you so much for the sponsor, dude. All right. Oh man, stop it. Why don't you do highs when I want you to do highs, huh? Oh, I missed the toe. Damn, he's not. Come on, homie. You are dead. Got him. You're dead. Boop. All right, Boom, you gotta baby. reverse sweep it now. Come on. <laughs> Maybe his last wish was to make a rap video. Let me make a rap video and let me go viral. That's what I want. Oh shit, fuck. I thought mine would be faster. I'm never faster than Dragon Up. That's what I need to learn. If killing someone makes you kind of an asshole, what makes you an actual asshole? I don't know. Probably whatever Peter Mullen is doing. I just read a fucking Rolling Stone article that he is coming out with another game. Called Legacy, and his last game never came out. They got kicked. Goddess, yeah, Goddess never even fucking came out. Yeah, I would so, think. So, yes, if he's kind of an asshole, whatever Peter Molyneux is doing is making you a complete asshole. Yeah, just don't, don't be Peter Molyneux, kids. Ah! I'm so tired of this fucking character, man. You're dead. Good fight. Jeffrey, thank you so much, dude. He says he did the song when he cut his ankle monitor. And he literally put his wanted poster in the video, lol. Shame, because he's actually sick. Dude, this man just trolled himself into life in prison. Like, Oh my god, did I, I beat him twice or no? Yeah, you did. Okay, like, cool. I know you think you're hard and shit, but like, let me tell you something. Life in prison is not a nice life, I'm sure. Yeah, that's gotta suck, dude. I don't wanna ever like, cut your prison. ankle. I'm too cute, fucking... dude. I know what's gonna happen. This dude is too damn pretty, look at him. He is. He's too damn pretty. Oh yeah. Dude, he's that guy from Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. When you get him out of prison, what's his name? OG Lope? And, and I don't remember what his name was, but his name in prison was OG Loke, so he makes sure to correct CJ and everyone else when he gets out or whatever. And then you you get this mission to go steal his rap sheets, like like actual rap lyric sheets, oh, okay. back from somebody. But, you know, you're gonna fucking kill him for the disrespect, right? Mm. Well, it turns out this dude didn't steal his raps. He was just butt-fucking him in prison. And, uh, oh, shit. and OG Loke is, like, super, like, <laughs> super fucking self-conscious, but it's fucking hilarious. It's, like, one of my favorite Grand Theft Auto missions of all time. So he just has you go kill this dude because he's embarrassed. Yeah. Oi. And then when CJ figures it out, because, like, you're chasing him on the motorcycle, and he's like, I like the fast ass, not the slow ass. And OG Loke's just like, shut up, I'll kill you. <laughs> Like, mm, honey, keep oh chasing me. It's so fucking lame, dude. That's what that guy reminds me of. OG <laughs> Love. Rothos, thank you so much. He says, so rap, or ant or rhythm and poetry, is supposed to have a message. Hip-hop is that gangsta shit. Hip-hop is gangsta? I thought rap was gangsta, and hip-hop was the rhythm and poetry But why shit. do they have a genre called gangsta rap, then? I thought, I thought rap was gangsta. I thought... I don't I know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know about the gangsta life. Uh, John Marcy. But if rap does really stand for rhythm and poetry, then I guess that makes I mean, sense. that would make sense. That makes sense. I think that is exactly what it stands for. Damn. The education. Um, freaking John Marcy's. Miss Brace killed an entire group of teens, but she didn't scam people with a Kickstarter. She, she's only kind of an asshole. <laughs> exactly. And then, you know, I apologize for my playthrough like a normal human being because people were upset. But when you steal people's money, and don't apologize and make more excuses. You are a full asshole. A complete asshole. Dude, that interview is so fucking crazy, dude. <laughs> oh my goodness. That was some craziness. <laughs> 
<laughs> Yo, what's up, Mazrum? What's up, dude? What's up? Welcome to the stream. Bootyful people. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Full of booty. All right. I am going to be signing off fairly soon because I have to run out. Um, I did make the appointment at some place oh, right across fuck. the street. I forgot so you were leaving me. Don't leave me with these weirdos. I'll be back. Don't leave me with I these weirdos. Be gone Jeffrey's going to touch me in strange places. You're you can't go. Nips and Raw Post is going to Jeffrey, you stay away from my nips. Suck at everything. <laughs> He's like, Trent, if only you were my cellmate in prison. Oh, your nips are going to get it. You're fucked up. Ooh, the nips. <laughs> I, like, I have been banned, man. I've been banned from the nips. Dude, everybody is banned from the nips. You're not special. Nobody touching these nips. Dude, one day I'm gonna take a video of It makes me feel like a like, sex on. Guys! Guys, I'm getting the nips! <laughs> Ow! Ah, gotcha. It's a grab. It, oh, it works on grabs, yeah. Mm -hmm. I knew that, but... Works on everything. Think it would. Yeah, you cannot do anything to me. So if I steal people's money but say sorry after we're keeping the money, it will only make me kind of an asshole? Exactly. Yeah, it'll only make you kind At of an asshole, right? At least fuck it up. Admit what you did was wrong. That's all I'm saying. You don't like, have to be a complete and total terrible person. Like, okay, here's the thing. All right, Peter Molyneux, complete asshole. Star Citizen developers? Kind of an kind asshole. Kind of asshole. They refunded that $40,000. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> Those guys are only kind of assholes. <laughs> but Peter Molyneux is a complete asshole, so... Just don't be a complete asshole, man. Just be half one. Half an asshole is fine. Uh, Dean Hall! Complete asshole! Complete asshole. Dean Hall and Peter Molyneux should honestly be, like, gay lovers. I think they'd really they work out. They'd be cute. You no, know? they would just sit there and lie to each other and realize that everything they've built is off of nothing. So in other words, they would deserve each like other. Like 20 years later, <laughs> Dean Hall would just be like, um, you know, everything I've said ever was a lie. And Peter would be like, haha, well, me too. So no worries. <laughs> me too, Although like I don't that. think I've ever intentionally lied in my life. Oh my god, that was the biggest load of fucking horse shit. The biggest lie. Oh my god, I don't think I've ever intentionally lied. <laughs> Fuck off, Peter. Shut up. I can't believe I was not aware of that interview when it happened in 2015. And I just read it last night. I was like, wow, this is the craziest interview I've ever fucking seen. What happened to the pepperoni nip? You mean the emote? I, I didn't... What was not digging how it looked. Everybody was telling me it looked like a damn some blade. Yeah, nobody liked it. And so. so I didn't think it was fair for it to take a slot when we have like people sending us emotes that are actually good that yeah. I didn't make. Uh, so good Fuck shit. Get out of here. All right, guys. On that note, I'm gonna. I love sign you. Mwah. 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 All right. I'll see you guys soon. Have fun. Be careful at the barbershop. You know, there's all kinds of things that could happen at a barbershop. It's not a barbershop. <laughs> I'm really confused. It's not a barbershop. It's, it's a it does salon. Hair. It's a salon. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know when Girl, there were women barbershop. there. It's called a salon. Well, they, do you think a woman would actually ever go to a barbershop if it was called a barbershop? Or would they go to yeah, a saloon? A salon. God damn it. <laughs> right, guys, okay, I'll see well, you be soon. careful at the salon. Don't let them drown you in that sink. Oh, yeah. yeah. They tried last time. Yeah, you know, be careful. <laughs> Hopefully it's not Sweeney Todd. <laughs> Where does Sean Murray come on the assholeometer? Right on the hole. No, I don't know. I gotta look up who it is. <laughs> who is this guy, anyway? Sean Murray. American actor known for his role as Timothy McGee. Oh, in NCIS? Well, everyone in NCIS is a complete asshole, guys. I mean, I don't even think we need to cover that, right? <laughs> uh, I don't know anything about him, but NCIS is ass. <laughs> Newberg's like, laugh my ass off so long. That's what I'm saying, dude. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> She won't come back, never trust barbershops? Well, 
At least it's a salon. I think I could trust it maybe a little bit more. <laughs> All right, we gotta get this KBD down. Hold on a second. Let me take a little break from ranked. Um, and I'm gonna go into practice mode and just grind this out. It's really bugging me, dude. I need to get it back. Yo, Crimson Tiger, thank you so much for the two bucks. He says, long time no see, guys. Any opinions on ever playing Guilty Gear XR Revision 2? There's sword swinging babes, and it's only $30-ish with cool fights. Dude, thank you so much for the donation. So, so all right. All right, guilty, guilty gear. So, I think the main reason that I haven't really gotten into guilty gear yet, Crimson, is because I, I kind of got bummed on guilty gear. Oh, Sean Murray is the No Man's Sky dev. Oh shit. Okay. Uh, okay. Well, Peter Molyneux defended him because they're obviously brothers in arms in terms of fucking people with unrealistic expectations so yeah he's definitely a complete asshole <laughs> but as far as guilty gear xr so here's the problem man i bought guilty gear xr whatever the second version was let me look okay yeah i bought xr revelator at full price and like two weeks later revision 2 came out and that really kind of killed my like desire to play the game because now i gotta buy it twice and i i mean i'm stupid i should have done the research but it was a stupid thing to do um but that's honestly the main reason i haven't gotten into it is because i would have had to buy it twice in two weeks you know playstation network doesn't give refunds so All right, let's see if we can get this KBD down, man. Huh? Well. All right. Let's start a clean one. Back, back, down, back. Okay, that hit back first. Down, back. There it is. And then you want to release it like that. And then another back. Okay. Back, back, down, back, back. Ah, damn it. Okay, that worked, but it was not a clean input. I don't really care if the input's clean as long as it comes out. <laughs> this tires out my wrist, man. Does anybody else have that issue when you're practicing KBD, dude? It, like, wears out my fucking wrist. It's awful. This is the ugliest KVD. I should turn my inputs off so you guys don't make fun of me. Rev 2 can be bought as a DLC pack? I'll have to look into that, see how much it costs. Thank you so much for letting me know about that, Andy, man. Ah. Well, they keep releasing new versions over and over, not completely your fault. Yeah, Dr. Oga, I agree. Like, they're... These anime fighters are still stuck in the time of, like, Ultra Street Fighter shit. And, like... I mean, look at Blaze Blue. Where do I even fucking start? There's, like, eight of them. And, you know, it's like... It's... It's... it's they honestly make the games more intimidating to get into than they already are just because they refuse to just update them via the internet, and I'm not sure why that is. Um, but yeah, I mean, like, a new player is like, hey, I've heard Guilty Gear's good, and they look up Guilty Gear and they see Guilty Gear Exard. First of all, Exard is kind of a nonsensical thing to name a game, um, but it's Japanese, so, you know, it's kind of par for the course, but that's for someone like me who's used to Japanese games. Somebody who's not used to Japanese games is gonna look at XRD and they're gonna be like, what the fuck does that even mean? So they're already on the fence right there it's already intimidating because they can't even pronounce it and then they look it up and it's like oh there's xard there's xard revelator and there's xard revelator revision 2 and it's like uh, and then all of a sudden they just say fuck it i'm not even gonna bother and blaze blue is even worse you got blaze blue you got blaze blue chrono phantasma blaze blue central fiction blaze blue something fucking else 
There's so many fucking Blaze Blues, man. And it is just, that's honestly the main reason it's so intimidating to get into, man. Obviously, the answer is to just buy the latest one, but it's just like, whew, that's a lot of shit thrown at you when you look it up, you know what I mean? Like, it's a lot of shit. <laughs> As opposed to Tekken, where it's like, hey, I want to get into Tekken. There's this game called Tekken 7. I'm gonna buy it. The end, you know? Uh, Dactyl, thank you so much for the two bucks. He says, well, lunch is over. Feels bad, man. Thanks for the late hour and get that KBD down pat. I need some sick whiff punishes in my life. I will do my best, man. I'm trying so hard. I'm trying so hard, man. It's just, it is so difficult. Stop using my wrist. Just use index, middle finger, and thumb. My index finger actually doesn't really touch the stick at all with the way I hold it. Yeah, it was a quick brag session. I mean, we lost viewers because nobody wants to see me just fucking practicing KBDs, so I'll just do it in a match. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. I understand that shit. Yo, Andy, man, that's great news. The last Blaze Blue was actually the first game Arxis joined the 21st century with. No extend version, just a 2.0 patch. Dude, that's good news. Maybe I will, uh, dive into these games. Um, maybe I will dive into these games. We'll see. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Newberg says, that's the same exact reason I never bought anime fighters. Yeah, honestly, like, if Japan wants to appeal to the West with their fighting games, they need to keep it simple because we don't look at a bunch of jargon bullshit, like, gibberish on a title and say, Ooh, I'm hyped for that! You know, like, Guilty Gear x -Arc. What is x -Arc? It's not even a word. <laughs> you know? Just... Make the goddamn game, call it Guilty Gear, and put it out, you know? And then update it. I don't know, it's, uh, West, the, the, the West and, um, and Japan are entirely different in their gaming tastes, and, uh, Anime Fighters is one of those things. That's why I'm so glad Gundam Versus is just called Gundam Versus. Dude, like, it's not, it's already not gonna be a very popular game. If they had come out with Gundam Versus Extreme Maxi Boost on, like a lot of Gundam Versus fans wanted them to, because apparently that one has more Gundams, um, and it's also, uh, just as current as Gundam Versus, nobody would have bought that shit. Extreme Maxi Boost on? It sounds like a maxi pad. That's the first thing I think of when I saw that title. I was like, Gundams need... Gundams have periods? <laughs> That's what I thought. It's just a stupid fucking name. You gotta... You got to, like, westernize shit if you're gonna release it over here or it's not gonna do well. Fucking maxi boost on. What a stupid fucking name. Although, if they brought it to America, they... All they would have had to do to change the title would be Gundam Max Boost or Gundam Versus Max Boost or something. Instead of Maxi Boost. What does Maxi even mean? That's not a word either. <laughs> if <Tri> <laughs> Fucking Adam. If Emily comes back with Vegeta hair on a scale of 1 to 10, how hard would you be? Oh, you know, dude. We'd have to stop this stream immediately. Tampax Gundam Smith. Tampax bro. Keeps your Gundam from leaking. Alright. Good game, good game. He said on a scale of one to rock, my bad. I did not read that. I was trying to read while I was fighting, which is kind of the entire reason I lost. I need to focus again. Um, but it's just like when Emily's not here, I feel like I really need to pay attention to chat. I don't want to ignore you guys. Um, but she's always the person that, you know, 
looks at chat and stuff like that so that I can focus on the game, so it's completely different. <laughs> There's a crab on my forehead? Oh, yeah, let me... First of all, get this out of the way. Secondly, I need to turn down my chroma key. I'm gonna lose for this, too. That's why I need her here, dude. Alright, there we go. Alright, problem solved. I forgot about the, uh, invisible forehead issue. Apparently I have green undertones in my skin, or at least enough to make it think it's a green screen. Clap that shit! Clap them cheeks, boy! Fight. God damn it. Damn it. Fucked up my input. I was supposed to do the spinning fists after that shit. Nice. Good perfect. Good perfect! Silky black hair on women as well. Yeah, dude. I wish she would dye her hair black. I've been barking up that tree for a million years, man. Because whatever, it's her hair. I'm lucky she dyed it blue for me. I'm very happy. I was very happy with that. Um, it sucks that people can't just fucking leave us alone about it, though. The only reason she's changing it is because of how rude people are. I know she won't admit it, but... She won't admit it on stream, but... I mean... Honestly, just... Seeing people talk about how fucking ugly you are all the time is obviously gonna get to somebody. Uh, or get to anybody, you know? Um, it's disappointing. That was my favorite way her hair's ever looked. It is what it is! You know, I'm not her boyfriend, you guys are, so you guys get to call the shots, right? Yuppers! So now we gotta drop mad money to change her hair back. <laughs> That's cool. Good game. <laughs> Get ready for the next I do have a hair fetish. Everybody likes different... Uh, everybody has their preference in lady hair. Mine is jet black or dyed funky color. Um, but you know, like, the problem is, is like, we talked about it a lot, and we were trying to figure out why people were being so mean. And one of the things that we didn't consider before she dyed her hair is that, okay, so when I was a teenager and I first got, like, the dyed hair fetish thing, um, the girls who dyed their hair were just, like, goth or alternative or listen to rock or, or just perfectly fucking normal and had dyed hair. Now, dyed hair is associated with SJWs, and we think that that might be why people had such a problem with it. And I didn't even consider that before she did it. We were just like, we're gonna dye, she, she was like, I wanna dye my hair blue. And I was like, that's a great idea, you know? And um, we were kind of thinking about it in terms of like, of like, you know, it would look a little bit better on the channel because that's, there are so many people that doubt the fact that she plays video games, even though we play video games together all the time. And we thought, maybe the, the, the dyed blue hair look would, um... Would make people see her more as a gamer girl, you know? Because, you know, you're thinking about, like... I'm thinking about, like, the chick from Trade Chat and shit like that, you know? Um... Uh, but that didn't happen, and I think instead people were just freaking out because they thought my girlfriend was a fucking... Like a liberal lesbian or something. I I, I don't really know. I, I it's very hard to figure out why public opinion is the way it is. Um, and I don't think I'll ever really figure it out. I don't think I'll ever really realize why a bunch of supposedly grown ass men had such a problem with my girlfriend changing her hair to blue. Um, to the point that they felt the need to constantly express that opinion. But some people's lives are really sad and depressing. So you know it is what it is.
And the only way that, like, they're even gonna feel- God damn it. The only way they're even gonna feel remotely better about themselves is by talking shit about somebody else who's doing more in their life than they are. And that's basically what I have to chalk it up to. Um, but I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I'm still very pissed off about it. And that's the only reason I'm talking about it right now, is because... I'm never really gonna get to be honest with you guys about it, because Emily's not gonna admit it, but... I'm still very, very pissed off about it, and I remember all the people who had an issue with it as if it was even their fucking business in the first place, and believe me, I see those guys come around again, um, well, I'm not gonna treat them very nicely, and they're gonna wonder why, and they're gonna think I'm an asshole, and I'm not gonna tell them. I'm just gonna be a dick, so, I don't know, I really fucking hate people sometimes. I've been trying to get my girlfriend to dye her hair fucking blue for a million years. She dyes it blue and she has to change it back because of the opinion of a bunch of people who don't even live with her, so... Let's go. Nice, good fight. Yeah, they're obviously just jealous, but I mean, it doesn't really matter how often you can tell yourself that, and it doesn't matter how true you know that to be, because they obviously are. The fact of the matter is, is like we're sitting here for six hours a day, and if every time you look over at chat, someone's talking shit about you, it's, it, it doesn't matter how... It doesn't matter. You, you could be the... Okay, because she's not a person that lets things get to her. But, okay, so the problem... Alright, think about it this way. Um... So, if I were to punch you in the arm, like this... That... Level of strength. That's not my hardest punch, obviously. Um, it's not gonna hurt you. But if I keep hitting that same spot, repeatedly, at that exact tempo, eventually, I'm gonna bruise the fuck out of your arm. Think about it that way. It doesn't matter what you tell yourself, dude. We do this every day, for six hours. So, whatever that, whatever we need to do to make things a little bit easier for us and to get people to shut the fuck up and stop being assholes is what we gotta do. And that is essentially why I don't have a, I don't have a Discord anymore because the, the, the owner of the Discord decided they were going to join in on the immaturity and talk shit about Emily and at that point, I mean it had been happening for like over a month at that point, we've been looking at this shit. No, I'm not gonna tolerate that, and I'm not gonna forgive that person. So I told them to delete the whole fucking thing, and they can go fuck themselves, and I'm not grateful for anything they've done. Because they've obviously shown their ass, and, um, I didn't realize they were that type of person. So, there you go. No, I'm not gonna tolerate that shit, dude. And I got a really interesting comment the other day, because Jeffrey trolled me with that donation message on the Counter-Strike stream, and I thought it was real. Um, I got a really interesting comment from somebody the other day, uh, a little while ago. I was talking about how disappointed they are with me and how they thought I was such a good person and blah 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 and how it was so fucked up how I treated this person. I basically told them to go fuck themselves. Because they don't know shit. Like, you don't know shit. <laughs> you know? Like, here, you try sitting in a fucking chair for six hours a day playing a video game and having a bunch of people just incessantly talk shit about you, and then have the leader of your Discord do it, and then let me ask you how you would treat them, you know? Like, it's my girlfriend, guys. And our relationship predates this YouTube channel by years. We've been together for six years. I've had this YouTube channel for about three and a half. Uh, maybe four at this point? I don't know. But either way, this, our relationship predates the YouTube channel by at least two fucking years. No, I'm not gonna let some fucking 16 year old twat piece of shit talk about my fucking girlfriend just because, oh, they run the Discord? A Discord I never even wanted and told them frequently I didn't fucking want. So you know what? They can go fuck themselves. I don't feel bad for anything I did and whoever this motherfucker was who didn't even have the balls to use their real YouTube account when they told me how disappointed they were in me because they were like, I would use my real YouTube account, I, I frequent the streams all the time and I would use my real YouTube account to tell you how I feel, but, uh, um, 
you know, I don't really want to, like, get into it with you, was their excuse. And it was like, oh, that actually kind of sounds like you're saying that you don't want to use your real YouTube account because you don't have any fucking balls. Moving on, Von Bardock, thank you for the two bucks. He says, fuck him, I've been called ugly and criticized for being too skinny forever, and I just never give a flying fuck. Emily should try that too. You should try streaming to the entire fucking world, and then see how well you can handle it. It's different, you know? Like, if somebody, okay, if the, if the, if the owner of the Discord, the previous owner of the Discord, had said that shit to her, to her face, and I had been there, I would have beat this motherfucker into a coma, and that is not an exaggeration. I'm not a very violent person, but one of the things that's gonna make me really fucking angry is, well, just about anything to do with my girlfriend, right? So, um, cause I care a hell of a lot more about her than I give a fuck about the feelings of some little bitch on Discord, you know? That's just facts. And I think that's a healthy way to live. I really shouldn't give a fuck about some little bitch on Discord that just wants to be a dick. You know what I mean? So, like, whatever. It's different, Von Bardock. Real life is different, man. You can punch somebody in the face in real life when they fucking do that shit. Fun. <laughs> I wish it had been real life, you know? I wish this was a live show where I was sitting in front of all you guys, so when that shit had happened, I'd have come into the fucking audience and whooped the shit out of them. And honestly, like, if they're watching this, just consider yourself lucky that you didn't say it to me in person. To be quite honest, like... Fucking little bitch. Jesus, dude. I'm sorry I'm getting so triggered about it, I'm just... I didn't want to talk about this, but... I don't know, man. I'm just... Now, now that she's changing her hair back and everything, and I know what the exact reason for it is, it really pisses me off. Especially considering, like, how much it costs to get it like that in the first place and how much it's gonna cost to get it back to the way it was. She's just dying it back to her natural haircut. Which isn't even what she wants, you know? So, whatever. And thank you for the donation, liberal lesbian and soul 52, aka Jeffrey, the liberal lesbian. I will grab you guys in a second. Yeah, I don't know why anyone would think I'm a bad fucking person for defending someone I give a shit about, but... I mean, it's very clear to me that the person who left that comment is some forever alone little fucking bitch anyway, so maybe they don't understand, you know? When you live by yourself and you just jerk off using cheesy poofs as lube, it's pretty tough to understand why somebody would care, you know? God, I hope they watch this shit. And that is the story as to why the Discord is gone. Guys. Liberal lesbian, thank you for the donation, says Snap's Finger. You tell him, Trent. As an independent liberal lesbian, I stand by you. One more reason for taking the knee during the Gundam Anthem. I'm telling you, Jeffrey, if you take a knee during that Gundam Anthem, I'm gonna beat your ass. <laughs> thank you for the donation, man. It's Soul52, thank you for the two bucks, it says, Yo, I left for ten minutes to get food. What the fuck did I just miss? All I hear is Emily getting trashed, so I ask, Who wants to get fucked up first? I appreciate you, Soul. Uh, this is just, it's an old story that I haven't, it happened a while ago, um, and I, I haven't really been able to talk openly about it, you know, until just now, so, that's all it is, it's over, it's over, I'm just getting pissed about old shit. <laughs> Thank you, Maverick, I, I've been wanting to get this off my chest for a while, man, and honestly, I do feel a little bit better about it. <sighs> man, it just sucks, man. Like, you know, everybody's got, like, confidence levels and, you know, shit like that. And I've been, like, asking her to dye her hair blue <laughs> for, like, ever. And she never did because she didn't feel confident that she would look good with it. And the second she got home that day and sat down on the Destiny 2 stream, everyone just fucking... I'm done. You know, for somebody that, like, already they were unsure about it, it's fucked up, man. It's fucked up. I honestly considered quitting this. Like, I honestly considered deleting the YouTube channel for a little bit. 
Because at least when I went to my fucking 9 to 5, I didn't have anybody fucking being a dick just to be a dick. I just went in, I did my job, and I left. And that's a hell of a lot more of a simpler existence than dealing with a bunch of fucking whiny ass 12 year olds. I hope they're pressing a button. I just kind of fucking panicked. <laughs> they're not pressing a button. Thank you for the donation, Coconut Wallows. Said I respect you and him so much. I'm glad you finally got this off your chest. I think I could safely say we all agree with you. Fuck Pearl. Dude, thank you, man. Thank you. I appreciate your donation, man. <laughs> I didn't want to say their name, because... Just like they should have, I don't know, considered the fact that we're human beings, I should take into consideration the fact that they are. And, um... You know, I don't know. I don't want to be a cyber bully. I just can't really help sounding super pissed off about it because I am. You know? So, I'm not cyberbullying to be just a cyberbully. It's just that, like, that was just way fucking out of line, and I honestly would have beat their ass in real life for that. And I'm just really mad, mostly because I, I can't. I have no idea where they live! <laughs> and I know they wouldn't have said that shit in person, you know? That's what really pisses me off. Shit! They should have blocked. Good fight. You win. <laughs> Thank you for the donation, Crimson Tiger. He says, I think the blue was awesome. Now I'm sad. Also, I'm watching the Neo streams. Cheesy Puff Lube sounds like something on South Park. Let my head. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know where I came up with that. <laughs> thank you for the two bucks, man. And Rudger, thank you for the five races. Tell Emily she is beautiful, and I'm with you, Trent. I would kick some ass, too. I tell her she's beautiful every single day, man. <laughs> every single day. I am absolutely, totally in love with her and going to be with her for the rest of my life, so absolutely. I will definitely tell her for you, Rudger. <laughs> Uh, if you're not here for the second stream, you tell her yourself if you're here for the second stream. She'll be back for the second stream, for sure. I think. Hopefully the salon doesn't take that long. But, dude, thank you so much for the five. And get thanked on me and thank you for the two bucks. Says, I am 12 and a half. Laugh my asshole. No, you're not, dang. No, you're not. If you are, damn, you're a very mature 12-year-old. I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> like, you spell correctly and shit. Thank you for the donation, man. God damn it! Ah, fucking hell, man. I knew I shouldn't have gone for that. I knew I shouldn't have gone for that shit. KO. Round two. Fight. Where's the kid? You're right. I haven't been Korean back dashing. I don't have it into my game plan yet, really. But you're right. I need to force myself. All right, I got it a little bit. It didn't really accomplish anything, but that's okay. Dude, this guy's connection is godlike. I might play this person until I reach Vindicator. Or they reach Vindicator, I guess. I don't know who's gonna win. I'm not trying to say their shit, because they're pretty good. But yeah, this connection is fucking amazing. Feels like offline. Look at those, look at that, all five bars. Oh, you can't even see that shit. Look at that shit, dude. That is a fucking unicorn connection on Tekken. All five bars. That shit's gorgeous, dude. This dude is hardwired with, like, Google Fiber, man. Ow. God damn it. I knew they were gonna do that shit! Eat blue hair dye in solidarity. I appreciate that, Walrus. Don't don't die. <laughs> ah, very nice. 
Nice. Good fight. Good fight. You lose. Yo, John John. I, <laughs> I'm glad that you appreciate me putting my foot down. I know I lost a lot of viewers because of it. Because I know a lot of people were really, really invested in the Discord. Um, I've seen a lot more people's dicks in... And, and vaginas than I have ever wanted to. I don't even know why there was a not safe for work section on the fucking Discord. Who puts that there? Oh, I don't know, a fucking weirdo? <laughs> That's the answer. <laughs> Yo, Sai, don't even worry about it, man. You can type your message in the chat, I'll read you. But... <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yo, Mo, thank you so much for the, uh, five euros, dude. He says, blue hair triggers people now. Somehow, I'm not surprised. Yeah, you know, everything kind of triggers people. <laughs> thank you so much for the donation, man. You're awesome, Mo. Enjoy the stream. I'm gonna try to do some lit shit for you. Shit, I don't remember what I was saying. I thought I had something else to say. I don't remember. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like it had nothing to do with hair, too. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, yeah, I... I'm not gonna lie, like, I... I, I would be stupid not to notice the view difference on the stream since I put my foot down on the Discord, but honestly, it was something that I had to fucking do. <laughs> it was just something that I had to do, man. And I knew it was gonna happen, but that's okay. Anyway, yeah, uh, if we make a Discord again, please don't post your dick on it. That'd be nice. I don't know who did. I mean, I do know who did. Only one person was worth looking at. I'm not trying to be mean, but only one person was worth looking at in the entire fucking thing. So, yeah, let's not do that again. <laughs> Shit was honestly fucking mega cringe. It was just mega cringe. And that was the main reason I avoided the Discord for a while, dude. People keep posing their dicks all over the fucking place. God damn, dude. Do not let a weirdo make a Discord for you. Ever. Don't do it. That is such a bad idea. That could have been the death of the channel. To be quite honest. Almighty Dickens, thank you for the two bucks, man. <laughs> I'll grab your message in a second. I'm sorry I put you in a bad mood again. I did see that part. I'm sorry, man. Ooh. <laughs> it is just like... <laughs> yeah, Scissor's like, yeah, it was cringe. <laughs> A lot of people did. Yes, you are right, Scissor. A lot of people did. And, uh, you know, when somebody says they're gonna make a Discord for me, I didn't know they were gonna make a fucking 4chan thread. I mean, this is basically what it was. Jesus. The Almighty Dick is saying for the two bucks says, Hey man, do you want me to find this guy and fuck him up for you? I have friends in the CIA who can find him. Now I'm in a bad mood again. No. <laughs> no. It's not that serious. I gotta learn to let my anger go. It's not that serious. <laughs> but goddamn, I am still currently mad. But one day I will let it go. One day I will let it go. <laughs> Thank you for the donation, man. And oh, fuck those people. Donate two bucks says, Seems like the interweb still can't handle pretty girls. Think there's a level of idiocy that can be completely ignored. I wanna dye my hair now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm getting better about ignoring, like, the, uh, the idiots, but it is, um, it is, you know, I mean, it, it is difficult, you know, sometimes. <laughs> Thank you so much for the donation, man. <laughs> no, you can't post any dicks, not your dicks, no one's dicks. <laughs> Fight. <laughs> 
Oh, this is Jack? I thought it was fucking Gigas. I hate this skin. This skin is ridiculous. You're dead. Anime! Round two. Fight. <laughs> Yo, Jeffrey, thank you for the donation, man. I'll grab you in a sec. One. Hammersmith, thank you so much for the 200 sweetest Kronor, man. I appreciate you, dude. I will grab your message and Jeffrey's in just a second. Oh, right. Flash is not good against Jack. Well, none of my setups are good, at least. I have to, like, actually just neutral game him with Flash because... He's too big. I uh, well, you would think that that would be the it, that, that that you would have the opposite from like smaller characters would be harder to hit with Flash, but for some reason the big dudes have weird hitboxes. Not sure why. Got him, Razor Man. Thank you so much for the two bucks, man. I will grab all of you in a second. Let me beat this motherfucker. Oh, god damn it, dude. This guy is never going to stop handspringing. I should just expect it. Here we go. Dash forward, bait it. Oh, well. I should have hit him while he was on the ground. Damn. Nice, nice, nice! That's pretty good, Jack. Close. Yo, Jeffrey, thank you for the donation. Says, I will find you and twist the fuck out of your nips if you talk shit about him. <laughs> Trent, I will tag team slash Dominion gank them along with you. Hashtag free the nip. Dude, you and me, Jeffrey, we'll just go office space on some bitches. <laughs> thank you for the donation, man. And Harrison, thank you so much for the 200 Kronor. He says, I always miss the juiciest shit. It sucks that so many gamers are basement dwelling troglodytes who jump at the chance to treat people like shit. Been hustling for dimes all day, but hey, have some, uh, have some money. The blue hair was dope. Thank you so much for the donation, Hammersmith. You are awesome, and it is, it is unfortunately true. I always thought that stereotype wasn't real, but it is, it is pretty true, unfortunately. And I mean, just look at how toxic the gaming community is. Have you ever seen a group of people who hates each other that much, other than like Jerusalem? I guess I, 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 I don't know. I mean, it's bad. If gamers had guns. It would be anarchy. And a couple times, people have been killed over a game. So, you know, some gamers do have guns, and that's real scary, you know? But I don't think it's gaming that really makes it that way. I think that people who are like that are drawn to gaming for the, you know, sort of escapism because they're not happy with their lives. And, you know, I mean, video games are an escape for me as well. And uh, I've been unhappy with my life. and. I mean, I've been there, you know? I've been there. Internet arguments all over the IGN message boards, being a dick to people who are just trying to fucking make YouTube videos, shit like that. I've been there, dude. I've been there. It, it, took me, it took me a while to mature, you know, uh, and get to the point where I am now, and that's why, that's why I always make comments about people being, like, young, you know? And it's not as an insult to young people, it's just that when I was 16, I was doing the same fucking shit, you know? So... So I get it, you know? I just feel like, uh, at this stage in the internet we should be past it? I don't know. Maybe not. It'll never happen. I am literally hoping for a utopia that never will exist. Razor Man, thank you for the two bucks, says, Don't tell me what to do, dick. <laughs> he poses like, eight equals 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 equals... Equals 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 D. I had to get the amount of equals, dude. I didn't wanna I didn't wanna sell you short. 
Already? I have a funny story for you. He refused to do it. He said, you look too pretty like this. Go home and think about it. I will redo everything and make it actually look good. And I will put bright colors through the bottom so it doesn't fuck with the green screen. Go home and think about it. So oh, he, he literally didn't do anything. Did he not do anything? No, he just sent me home. He was like, nope, I don't want to do it. Think about it. And then we'll decide. <laughs> that legitimately just happened to me. I just sat down and... Well, you're not told, supposed to be home no. yet, babe. You're not supposed to be home yet. Runo Synthes, thank you for the five bucks. Says, after what you said, the more I get to know people, the more I like animals. Fuck them. They can eat a bag of dicks. The old floppy kind. Dude, thank you so much for the five bucks, Runo. I appreciate you. Um, what a twist. Okay. What a twist. So... He was just like, I will put any bright color in your hair. Like, not of the cool variety. I will do anything. Please do not change it. Are Go you home serious? and think about it. <laughs> he was like, you look amazing like this. And I was like, oh, okay. All right. All right. He looks Every like a motorcycle, bro. I'm scared, <laughs> okay? Got tattoos on his neck and shit. <laughs> God damn it, dude. I can't Chats believe it. Chad's go crazy, cause, um... Cause what? Well, there was some context to this, but we're not gonna talk about it, guys. Shut your fucking mouths. Dookie Shoes, thank you for the two bucks. No, I need to know. No, no. I need to know. Dookie Shoes, thank you for the two bucks. Let's fuck random people on their internet and their dumb opinions. But we all know that none of us are immune to letting it get to them. True shit, Dookie Shoes. Thank you so much for the two bucks. We were not were talking about anything. What were you talking about? Nothing. What were you talking Nothing. about? Nothing. Nothing, guys. Just... All right, whoever, whoever gives it away, I'm banning you from Oh, it's Dookie Shoes, I found out. He says, I'm sure you already know, but Emily is the lucky, is the luckiest to have someone who can help keep things grounded when the assholes come out. Keep doing you. We were talking about you. I was talking about something else. I don't know what Dookie Shoes is on about. Thank you for the donation, Dookie Shoes, but I don't know what you're talking someone about. someone being mean about me? No, no, no one was being mean about you. Um, what happened? I want to know. I was just kind of going over old shit. And just kind of Oh. For the for the first time, just kind of like actually like making my stance clear on it, you know, oh, sort of oh, thing. Okay. Um I'm glad your hair didn't change. <laughs> I'm glad your hair didn't change. I won't be mad if you do change it, but I'm 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 glad it's I'm glad to get like at least another day or something. Another week. I made my appointment for Tuesday, and he told me that he was making it for unicorn hair, and that if I came in telling him that it wasn't gonna be that, he it was gonna throw his life. <laughs> this man lost it on me. He was just like, no, no, I will not. <laughs> It was just kind of, I was just being, uh, I was just leveling with people being honest for kind of the first time since all that shit went down, you know. Um, and, uh, can you grab Hammersmith, uh, Yay, and Crimson Tiger? Thank you guys so <laughs> much for the thank support. Thank you so much for the surgery. I told you the blue air was dope. I'm never wrong. <laughs> You're not my mother. Um, no, so I might do pink instead. We'll see. Just so it doesn't get in the just way of so the green screen? My, my concern But it's not gonna go screen. normie? My concern is the green screen for you guys, and so I do want to change that. Okay. Cool. But, I have but, never we're, but had you're not going to be a normie? Tell me they would not do it. Yeah, before. that is interesting. That is interesting. You need to oh, shit. Camera. My bad for the camera, guys. Shit. My bad. Um, but, oh, uh, yay. Thank you. He says, praise the hair trimmer. <laughs> he also gave me a free little trim on the bottom because he told me that the lady literally just fucked my whole head. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the two bucks. Uh, yeah, you're awesome, man. Yeah, everybody, uh, nobody wanted you to change it. No. Uh, <laughs> and thank you, Crimson, Crimson Tiger, for the foul 20. Hey. Oh, fucking yes. Also, have you seen the DBZ style skins and emotes for the Samurai and For Honor? Uh, I saw the one with the kanji coming out of it. Somebody sent me that on Twitter. That looks pretty cool. Uh, but I haven't seen. I haven't seen the emotes though. Just the just the one that had yeah. like I, I I honestly am not even sure what I was looking at when they sent it to me. I was trying to figure it out, but I would have to log in. So I haven't really seen them. No, thank you so much for the phone twenty though. And Zuppa, thank you for the two bucks. So what up? Rewinded stream to hear. Damn it, Zuppa! No, there's the haters. 
man. M looks good in your gummy. Bitch. Much love and anus tickles. <laughs> Thank you so much. Were you just like crying while I was gone? I wasn't oh. crying. Was he like, you guys ruined my whole life? Yeah, no, not you, you guys, because no, we. You You're talking about the person? Yeah, well, I was just talking about how I understand at this point that the reason our, our views are, are much lower than they used to be is because of that Discord thing, and there were a lot of people who were invested in it, so. These guys aren't the ones that I, you know, had an issue with, dude. The people who watch the stream now are all nice, you know, because everybody else fucking bailed. Um. But. Yeah, I was just. I was just kind of saying, like, that. I don't really care who it is. I don't care if they made a fucking website for me. If somebody talks shit about you, I'm going to burn Aww. every possible bridge <laughs> there is, you know? I know. <laughs> you guys. So, you guys are all sweet to me. <laughs> Including you get danked on me. Thank you so much, dude, for the super cat. Hi, Emily. Love the hair. It looks great. And love the hair. <laughs> it really looks great. Don't ever change or do anything because of someone else. Be you and be happy. Love you both. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you, dude. <laughs> totally cried like a baby. I didn't, I didn't cry. I didn't cry. I didn't cry. I didn't cry. There may have been one tear. <laughs> oh my gosh. And Jeffrey, thank you, dude. He says, well, it's time to edit one hour of the stream. Emily, you are waifu, but still trash. Put waifu. <laughs> Trent exposed his nips in the stream. Oh, Lord. Yep, that's... Was that legit? <laughs> Not, no. I wasn't here. She's already found out what actually happened, Jeffrey, and there's no point in covering with the nips excuse. <laughs> But guys, thank you so much for the support, Aww. Meme, Zuppa, and Jeffrey. You guys are awesome. You guys are so And get danked on me. He was trying to tell me he's 12 and a half. I don't believe him. I said if it's, I said if he is, he's the most mature 12 year old I've ever fucking seen. Aww, I love you guys too. You guys so adorable. Well, good, because I might just put more colors in, because this man literally has a drawer full of colors he's trying to put in my hand. Yes. <laughs> like, yeah, a little, like, he literally grabbed a drawer and he was like, this is what I want to do to your hair. Oh, I oh him? I thought you were talking about me. No, he wants oh, to make me a unicorn. I was talking about how long I waited for the, for I the blue hair. <laughs> he also admitted to having a hair fetish. Who doesn't have a hair fetish? Uh, Everybody likes a particular couple colors of hair more than others. <laughs> <laughs> Trent right. uncovered this the like, bits of his heart. Today is the weirdest day ever. <laughs> the weirdest. God damn it. It wasn't supposed to turn out like this. You were supposed to come back and have different hair, and it wasn't supposed to be super adorable. No. Oh, damn, now I'm blushing. I need to get off stream. <laughs> <laughs> he gets rock stone. <laughs> exactly rock stone, yeah. Oh, devil Jim. I am the Dwight. To Devil Jim's gym. KO. Round two. <laughs> Fight. Dude, rainbow hair would be totally sick. I'm, I'm down. I feel like I don't even get an option anymore when Let's you go just... in and tell someone yeah. to fucking change your hair and they just straight up say no. <laughs> like, this dude didn't even want to be paid. No, yeah. God, he gave me a free haircut. And did he cut, cut your hair? Yeah, he was like, oh, this shit. lady janked your hair all up and cut like the bottom of it. Holy and crap. It was just like, go home, think about it. New permanent salon, I guess? Thank you so much, Genocide. He says, Super Saiyan Blue Emily is OP. Let's plan the Emily emote. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's cheating, it's because it's yours. Yeah, and if you had changed your hair, the emote wouldn't even be you anymore. It's true. Everybody would just be like, who's this chick with blue hair? <laughs> Alright. Oh, Focus. Jesus. No one will give me what I, I'm trying to pay So you're gonna for. go multicolored, but just stay away from like green colors? Yeah. That's a good idea. Thank you for the donation, Genocide. And thank you for making the Emily emote. You're thank wonderful. You. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are all so adorable. Oh, God damn it, this fucking kick. Ah, I got out of it. This time. So wait, have you been on like a major losing streak? No, I'm Vindicator. I just ranked up. I'm, I've been doing pretty good. 
You know that me talking shit about people hypes me up. You know this. I get better at the game. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, for real. I'm, my mind's still full of fuck. I can't believe I'm back. <laughs> oh, it's a stylus, not a barber. God damn it. All these all these lady vocabulary terms. <laughs> Dude was running late on his next appointment. <laughs> Let's be real. That's probably the case. <laughs> Just like, get this bitch out of here. <laughs> we gotta do too much shit. <laughs> <laughs> there is an Emily emo. Damn it, M. Trent was channeling the dark side until you came home. <laughs> it wasn't that bad. You don't have to worry. It wasn't that bad. It really wasn't. I kept it. I was nice All I'm compared say to how I could have been when talking about it. Because the Counter Strike stream was was evil. That was channeling. But that was me. And you know. Shit. I'm not gonna say they don't deserve it, but at the same time, I gotta learn to keep my mouth shut. <laughs> what the fuck? I hate this move, dude. I really like. I guess I, I think I have to crouch? I don't know. Soul52, thank you, dude. He says only 19, but I know two important things. One, to be nice to people because you don't know how they live. And two, don't judge until you've walked a mile in their shoes. Dude, you know? yes. Very, very true. That's honestly the biggest life lesson I had to learn. Uh. Oh no. I didn't know how to punish it. I dodged it, but I didn't punish it. No! Oh! Who wins? Oh, yes. oh, get fucked. Now I'm losing. I was doing great till you got back. Gosh, babe. Sorry. Gosh, babe. He was. He was the second coming of Palpatine. <laughs> was truly evil. Uh, sorry. I am so tired of- I don't like that he can do that on Waco. I need to learn how to punish it, stop being a scrub. Yay! Round four. Fight. You guys stop lying, dude. <laughs> I made Palpatine look like a beer Jedi. Get out of here, bro. You know that shit was mild, don't lie. You're trying to get me in trouble, man. <laughs> You're trying to get me in trouble! You lose. <laughs> you want me to get green chips right, Kira? Nah, dude. Did he learn his lesson? Maybe we could get a different color green screen. Like one that's not, you know, like a... Uh, red screen? Is a red screen even a thing that exists? I don't know. I mean, you could pretty much get any sheet. Color? Yeah, but I don't, I don't think a red screen would be... I don't think that would work. Because there's red tones in your skin. So we would just be like, I'd be, hollow You guys people. already tell me I'm pale. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm sorry I left you guys. I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> I had no idea what was going to happen. <laughs> well, I was just- I couldn't hold it anymore, man. I was so upset that you were changing it back. Because I knew the reasoning behind it, so I figured I'd share the real reasoning behind why you were doing it. Yeah. Well, apparently the world doesn't want it. <laughs> or my money. It's like, okay, I'll go home. Are <laughs> 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 you touching that loony pee? <laughs> oh my goodness. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Put your crying. Dude, now that like my ranting is over, we lost like 15 viewers. People are just like, shit, this is boring now. He needs to yell more. Every time I rant, we get more viewers. What's up with that, dude? Like, I can't rant for three straight hours, guys. Oh my god. I will lose my voice. <laughs> I know you guys like them, though. 
I try to keep them funny even when I am pissed, so. You said you would beat the shit out of people who make fun of me. No! I can take it. It's not like I'm a fucking delicate flower here. I'm ju right? I just said that if somebody had said that shit to you, it's to perfect. your face with me next to them, and they didn't have the an an anonymity of the internet to hide behind, then I definitely would have beat their ass. But you know, the thing is, is people don't say that shit in real life. Because to just completely randomly insult somebody like that for no reason is you wanting to get your ass beat. You know what I mean? Like, and I think most people in real life understand that. But on the internet, oh, it's not a problem. I am so sorry, guys. Bring back the small square of self <laughs> Uh, yeah, we'll figure it out. Kids are great, they get It's so weird, you're so pale and trash, such a dark tan for a long guy. What? <laughs> <laughs> you would, babe. You would beat them into a coma. Okay, guys. Now you're being snitches. <laughs> babe, you told me I didn't have to worry. <laughs> He's not even drunk. <laughs> we have no excuses. We need to start freaking <laughs> What the fuck, babe? What's gonna be my excuse? Well, I fucking would, okay? Like, I was gone for 15 minutes! I have only been in two fights in my entire life, but in both of those fights I had to be pulled off of the other person because when I get to the point where I'm going to fight somebody... Oh, stop it. Well, I'm just not gonna stop, because they, they had the audacity to try to fight me in the first place, right? You know? So, of course, you're this gonna kick the living so shit out of them, okay? <laughs> Oh my god. But I only had to fight twice, dude. I fought once in middle school, and nobody fucked with me ever again. And I fought once in high school, and nobody fucked with me ever again. And I didn't go to college, so that wasn't a problem. Oh my god. <laughs> in an elementary school, kids are pretty chill. Just to keep them in a vortex of endless coma. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Alright. Enough of this. <laughs> oh, bullshit. Thank you so much. <laughs> hey, Kuleo, thank you so much for the 10 bucks. Yeah, it says that first time donating a long time viewer. Gotta say, this moment is amazing. It deserves the money. <laughs> thank you so much for the 10 bucks, man. I am so glad you're enjoying the stream. I am like sweating bullets right now. Oh my god. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you guys are some snitches. I can't believe it. I'm so confused. I'm they had here. to tell me. I I'm can't sitting think here getting here pissed off over my inability to truly defend your honor because it's some fucking jackass on the internet, and then everybody's got to tell on me. Nothing. M. Trent said you're a weak female flower who can't defend herself and needs a man. Ooh. And that he'd beat the dick out of that. <laughs> god damn it. Oh my god. God damn it. I can't even. I'm done. I'm done for today, guys. Well, I'll be back in an hour. But fuck y'all. I'm out. <laughs> Thank you so much for your first donation, Kuleo. I appreciate you the shit the out of you for thinking that we are even worth breaking that cherry on, dude. Thank you are you. awesome. Thank you for the two bucks. It's Zuppa. Thank you for the two dollars. Y'all better not be snitching on me when we get back in and out. Alright? I'll see you guys for the next one. Have a fantastic day, and praise the sun. Bye, Later, dudes.
Just kidding. God damn it, Razor Man. <laughs> Thank you so much for the two bucks, man. He says, don't be embarrassed, Trent. A guy grabbed my girl's ass, and it took about three seconds before I broke his arm in the nearest door. Oh, God. God damn. The champ. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't even use his razors. <laughs> he didn't even need them. Damn, that's pretty badass, dude. Hell yeah, Razor Man. Thank you so much for the two bucks, man. And thank you guys for kind of understanding. Um, my rage. Uh, bye!